yo, 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 it's your boy, Isaac Anzu, the lyrical, clerical, chimerical VTuber. And you may, you may have noticed that, that it, the, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of like off hours. The office is, is technically closed. Uh, it's really dark and, uh, we're not allowed to turn the lights on. Uh, but that's because we're here to work overtime. We're here to finish up this job. We're in crunch time, DLC, Shadow of the Air Tree. We're doing it. We're doing it. Glad you could make it, Dolu. <laughs> yeah, boss. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. Whew, I hope so. Working off time, working over. Nice. Yeah, there's. Uh, ooh, ooh, so, boss, boy, what's we the got plan? a lot to do. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so, so the plan, I've, I've done some research on the lands of shadow, uh, a okay. very appropriate name considering, uh, how shadowy the office is right now. And, okay. uh, apparently in the lands of shadow, you need uh -huh. scatter tree fragments. Shadow and, tree fragments. Okay. Well, yeah, basically. And revered okay. spirit ashes. And if you don't have those, you're just SOL. Everything's terrible forever. So. Oh, okay. So. <clears throat> is, is this supposed to be a pump up stream, boss? Because I'm getting, uh, I mean, pump up speech because I'm getting scared instead. No, no, no. Here's the plan, Dolu. We are going to crush. We are going to crush it. We're going to get every single scatter tree fragment we can. <clears throat> okay. All of them. Uh, at least at least as many as we can uh, in the first area. <laughs> We're not going to okay. miss, miss a single one. Um, I see. And along the way, now that we have all of the, bear, the smithing stone bell bearings, um, we're going to each want to try out some of the new DLC weapons because they look really cool. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's try to get. I think I think the DLC also gives you like a shit ton of runes, so we can try to get those DLC weapons up to like level nine or twenty four or whatever, and uh, test them out. Just to okay, see. Okay, watch. Just to see, and then if we like them more than our if we like them more than our bows and arrows, then maybe we can do the DLC in style. Oh, Makes a switch sense. up in the agendas. Yeah, a yeah. switch up in the protocol of interviews. I like it, boss. I like yeah. it very much. We're working overtime and, you know, these fists, you know, lefty and righty, these fists are registered weapons yes. and because they're yes. because they're registered weapons uh you know i have to fill out paperwork to use them so i can't just like throw paperwork around when we're not supposed to even be working right now ah uh, that's true that's true all right you ready dolu do you are need you a, ready? do we need a safety deposit box somewhere yeah boss i'm ready um you know what a safety deposit box for yeah. our equipment might not be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. Whoa. Back to the lands between. And the world is open to you, Dolu. All right, boss. Oh. Look at this place. A Time brand new world realm shift open don't you be sucked in the realm shift Zwee! <laughs> let's go <laughs> ah imagine if this is like uh you know that movie uh what do you call that movie ant-man when they go into quantum world oh is that the, the shrink 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 I, I was about to ask if that was the the sequel, but I, I haven't I haven't new fruit, new item, new, fruit. new new item. Yeah. 
the berry like okay, so this fruit. is the land this is not land between but a shadow of the erd tree you say well i mean that's definitely not the erd tree it's uh map location spotted boss oh shit you're right let's go um i was about to ask if that was the original ant-man or the sequel and i'm like wait a minute i haven't even oh shit hello sir Oh. I haven't even seen the. I haven't seen either of them. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Okay. Wait. This guy does sick damage. He's sleeping, boss. He's sleeping. Get him. No, oh, my my my. Uh... Heal, Delu. Heal. I'll distract him. Okay, boss. Ugh. Yes. I'm starting to see the fists. They're too stubby. They're too short for this this strange new world. Get back here. This guy is pretty strong for being like <laughs> the first enemy in the yeah. DLC. What the hell? Yeah. I mean, we're just surprised. Well, that's it. Once we get to understand him, he'll be okay. He gave me he gave flasks hmm. though that that's nice all right yes uh according to the map the first place we must go oh materials red flesh mushrooms the Come flesh on, down here, boss. of mushrooms is similar to raw meat and can serve as pot innards wait what Pot innards. <gasps> Map time. The grave boss, site a ghost. plain. A ghost here. He says. Everyone's burned to cinders, burned away, put to the torch by Mesmer and his lot. What did we do to deserve such a fate? We merely lived our lives. We lived in peace. This Mesmer guy, I don't know about him. All right, well, this seems to be like the first place to try out. Not resin. Serves as a primitive catalyst, making it suitable for processing sorceries, incantations, and the like. They are ghost ghost talks, boss. <laughs> you know, I it, I shouldn't complain because it probably helped the DLC come out faster, but they must have saved a lot of time by just giving everyone these, like, black uh, skins. Hefty cracked uh, pot. Excuse me? Bruh. Monday's child. Hello. Welcome to the stream. The materials in uh, this hefty, empty pot somehow mends itself from broken, blah, blah, blah. Essential vessel, the materials and magic sealed within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. The greater potence of Bonnie Village. Craft these and store them in a frozen jail. Lore is happening. Trade right into you, but there was an error. Oh no. Um, I may have it set to to only raid, like, from friends. Uh, but I appreciate you coming by and saying hello anyway. Uh, welcome to the stream. <laughs> My name is Isaac Hansu, the, the Lyrical Clerical Chimerical VTuber. And this is my, uh, <clears throat> employee, Dolu. We're working overtime this hello. week. We're grinding on the DLC, uh, playing it every day until it's done. Oh, yeah. Uh, a record of crafting techniques of the greater potent who roamed lands near and far. Haunted by the grotesque practice of his village of birth, he stuffed great pots with all manner of things. Uh, oh, so now we can make hefty fire pot. Hefty fire pot. Is this? 
red flesh mushroom and black firefly. Oh, hefty fire pot. Okay. I have a I have a pot. I have a recipe for a pot. By the way, I appreciate you. Oh, wait, are these the black fireflies? Oh, hell yeah. You appreciate me liking your blue sky posts? Hell yeah. Blue sky is, I, it's it's uh, constantly in danger of, of dying. So I feel like I have to, uh, I have to support people on there because- What is uh, dying? Uh, blue sky. It, it's it's like without the algorithm, you really you really do need to like make connections, actual connections. Fiery butterfly with cinder black wings flies in war torn lands that have been scoured by mesmer's flame. They burn in dark and slender ribbons of fire. Man, item descriptions are so cool in FromSoft games. <laughs> Oh, there's an item up there. Um, I can horse. More butterflies here, boss. Oh. <laughs> Almost died. Where's the more butterflies? Uh, my position. My position, boss. All right, on my way. Where are you doing? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hello. You seem like undead. I the think. Zarkon. Uh... Uh, thank you for the raid. How? Holy. How? How? Uh, how did you know I was? I was streaming. Incredible. <laughs> A lot of flasks coming in. Yeah, I wonder if. I wonder if. Uh, I've heard the DLC is harder. I wonder if it's meant to, to offset that. Boss, a doggo. What? Doggo, doggo inbound. Oh, over to Overtime raid, zoop to whoop, Isaac Pog. I saw it in a vision. Uh, the Ghost error must doggo. have been on my end. It's, I'll tell you what, listen up Monday's child. We're gonna re rectify this error right now. Uh, because even though, um, even though I follow everyone on Blue Sky, I don't keep up on following people on Twitch. Uh, so now I'm following you. So the next trade should work. All is well. Sup, Legends and Elden Lords. How's it going? What's up, Pyroids? Roy, good to see ya. Yo, so fire eye. Oh, uh, oh shit. Uh, there's a, a Grace over here. I'm just gonna activate it real quick. Anyway. <coughs> Welcome Zarkon and Raiders uh, to the overtime, late night, no employees, long hours, underpaid, uh, actually not paid at all, stream. Let me up. There you go. Can I get up there? Can I? We are exploring the Elden Ring DLC for the first time. Yeah. And I'm finding my stubby little ball fists uh, a little bit inadequate. <laughs> when... Same goes for the arrows, boss. Yeah. So we're going to we're going to try to find some new new weapons here in the DLC. Oh, I found stairs. Unpaid overtime. Be still, my heart. Listen. Unpaid overtime is the best type of overtime because I don't have to pay anyone for it. <laughs> I hope that all the extra work gets me that promotion and not someone from a different branch. Don't worry. Once you prove that you're good at your job, you're never leaving that position. <laughs> uh, Believe me. Awesome. You can get up here. You know that. Oh, where are you? I'm I'm up here. I'm I've lost track of Dolu. Dolu? Where are you? Up in the tunnel! Apparently below you! Uh? 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 
Oh, Damn. you're you're where the item is. Oh crap. Yes. How did you get up there? Uh, from here, boss. Hello. I'm following. Go up, boss. Go up. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Man. I've heard the DLC is very vertical. Like, this is the first... Um, this is the first ruin. And yes, I already... I'm already seeing it. Oh! <laughs> Justice for Dolu? Oh, God. You're on Sir Davies' side. Listen. Sir so Pyrite, what's up? Support Dolu all you like, but don't forget about me. Don't, you so Don't forget about me. Just add champion to my job title and call it a day. That's right. You're officially Dolu. You're officially a uh, <laughs> a champion intern. <laughs> a champion intern. Okay. <laughs> the highest, the highest possible intern position. Uh, I hope. I hope the the moral. You can't open this door. I hope the moral uh, gratification is uh, worth it because there's no pay raise involved. The Blade of Mercy. Blade of Mary? Mercy, okay. So is it a weapon or what? I think it's a talisman. Raises attack power after each critical hit. That seems good. Horn scent. What's a critical hit? Horn scent. Employed this have to honorably doing, end the suffering of a compatriot. Horn sense. Have we been that, doing critical hits? Um, I mean, we do enter bully mode sometimes. <laughs> I heard ambient intern. Yes, you will. You will uh, transcend your your mortal form and become atmospheric, and that's how you know that you've made it <laughs> when you're just part of the the office atmosphere. Hornset employed this to honorably end the suffering of a compatriot. After claiming numerous lives, the dagger is now broken, but has acquired a spectral aura. Boss? Oh, that thing is walking around, huh? Hmm. Boss? Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. Hello. There are people behind me, huh? <laughs> just, just sitting hey. here reading item descriptions like a boss. Boss, that torch is moving! That torch is moving! You want to go check it out? Uh... Sir... Sir, Sir Davy said it's uh, gonna be a nightmare. I don't know. Okay, we don't have to. Versus there... Grace, you said? Uh, down here. Down here. On my position. So our goal for today is to... Do bosses that we um, find randomly, but also collect all the materials we need to uh, level ourselves up. Because even though we have 170-ish levels, we now need to worry about the Shadow Realm Blessings, the first of which is right over here. And I believe it's the guy with the pot on his head. Get back here. Yes. Uh, oh, shit. Mother. Dog. Oh, my God. They do so much damage. Oh, no. They do a I lot. I was throwing ghosts at me. Someone throwing ghosts at these, me. These dudes. Spirit creeps they do so much damage. Oh, and another item. Okay, white flesh mushroom. Uh, the flesh of the mushroom is similar to raw meat. Okay, it's another. It's another. Scadu, um, scadu tree fragment, silver horn tender. In places now. where the dead have been brought since antiquity, the oldest gravestones turn into spirits and then fade away. Scattered tree fragment, 
and silver Welcome to the new stage of history. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's been a while since someone uh, redeemed Welcome to the New Stage of History. So now we have to read this as if I'm the narrator from Soul Calibur. A splinter of the scatter tree fragment that contains golden brilliance acquired at the Church of America and other places in the realm of shadow. Consume these at sites of grace to bolster your scatter tree blessing. The scatter tree blessing bolsters the bearer's ability to deal and negate damage, but has no influence outside the realm of shadow. It is said that when the scatter tree crumbles from its core, that it will scatter across the entire realm of shadow. The people of the air tree collect the splinters and use them in prayer. Okay. Old Silverhorn Tender. Nut. <laughs> Thank you for the nut. Old currency used by horn scent, made by coating spiral nut. horns with silver. Temporarily boosts item discovery can also be sold for a high price. These trinkets were once symbolic of society's upper echelons. So they're basically... Boss, you gotta see this. Uh, what? I uh, uh, Silver foul foot. They are basically silver foul foot, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Boss, I, wa I wonder if they, like, increase it more or do... Uh... Boop. Yo, wait. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Is that the <laughs> is that the hefty pot? Okay, we have to try this yeah, now. <laughs> I've I've collected enough things. I have a hefty pot. Mm. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> ten out of ten DLC. <laughs> um. Okay. So this is a scatter tree fragment. Uh, we need to collect all of them like Pokemon in order to level up. So what exactly do they do, boss? The scatter tree fragments? Uh, well, so over here we have, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking, thank you for the same hat. I'm looking at the map here and we also have a revered, oh, right. We also have a literal map. What's this thing? Uh, oh, okay. So apparently this is not even the entire map. Um, DLC is fucking huge. Boss, is this the remnant of the abductor version thingies? I don't know. No, I want to play Soul Calibur. Let's read. Let's read about the Reverend Spirit Ash, shall we? Okay. Spirit Ash of those who came before, infused with potent spirituality, acquired from the corpse of horn scent and other objects that ritually deteriorate townships and villages. <laughs> across the realm of shadow consume these at sites of grace to bolster your revered spirit ash blessing the revered spirit ash blessing bolsters both summon spirits and spectral steeds abilities to deal and negate damage but has no influence outside the realm of shadow the withered corpses were called tutelary deities and revered spirit ash was said to quietly accumulate in the palms of their hands <laughs> Voldo Pelic. So apparently this is a tutelary deity and they collect spirit ash. And that's their job. Oh, see that? Over there. Eh? What are we looking at? Oh shit. Uh, the 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 uh the, the dragon? Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, the other thing, boss, to the right, you get a cliff right next to us? Yeah. You see the golden thingy on the ground? Two golden thingies? Yeah, yeah. See those things? Let's I think we can go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, 2B is a, a Soul Calibur character? <laughs> Who? 2B? 2B the To B or not to be? I uh, I guess Crundle says to be. <laughs> to be and not to be. It's it's crazy it's crazy Wait. that 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 speech by Hamlet is like so memeified. It's basically mm. him contemplating suicide, and everybody's like, "Ah, yeah, to be or not to be." Okay. And they don't even think about like the implications. All right. According to the map, there is actually a boss around here. 
What the fuck was that? Those were uh, your boys, boss. <laughs> She's a DLC character in six. <laughs> what the fuck is her intro? Abandoned by her cyborg friends. She now fights for the sake of a future that may never come. But you will come a lot watching her ass physics. What are these? What the? Something attacking me? Boss, there's something here. There is a, a Logar the Beast Claw guy. Oh, that's the boss. That's the boss. Okay. Okay. We have an interview to do. Uh, where, where is he? Hey, right here in front of me, boss. Here. Look. Huh? Oh, shit. There he is. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, oh, oh my God. He's a, oh, have we found Zarkon's uh, human form? Why is he so fast? He's extremely fast. Oh, God. This is what I was worried about. My little stubby arms can't keep up with the DLC yeah. speeds. He dodged me. Okay, so Ugh. you're fast. I'll give you that. Ugh. <laughs> uh, casually deletes half your health bar. Are you fast enough for my barrage, though? I'm dead, boss. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to beat this guy without you. <laughs> okay. He can heal. Not cool. I'm coming, boss. I'm coming. I know. Just hang on for some time. He is awfully uh, poise heavy for somebody not wearing any armor. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. He better not have two heals. They give NPCs two heals in the DLC. I also. Hold up. Look at this guy's face. He's basically, um, what's his name? Tarnished? No, 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 no. Who's the guy who plays Wolverine? Hugh Jackman. Oh, uh, Hugh Jack. Yeah. Yeah, look at him. Huge he's axe just, man. He's just Hugh Jackman. All right. I'm approaching, boss. I'm approaching. Don't die. Clip time. Like a oh, a beast claw. Is this his weapon? Nice, you got him. Good job. A weapon used in the form of a carnivorous beast's vicious claws. Uh, who the fuck is these horn, horn scent, horned warriors? An imitation of the esoteric technique of the horned warriors. Those who carry this weapon wield it as if though they have been possessed by a savage beast. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, that is wild. Okay, I'm testing these much. <laughs> it is, it is, uh, it is absolutely hilarious to watch my, uh, rotund man move around like this. Oh, thank you. All right. Fascinating. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's. If you, I would love. Uh, I would love for you to test it out. Although. Um, I would watch. I would. We should probably. Up, see how the. We should probably upgrade it. Right? I just wanna, uh, yeah, we should. But where's the spot for upgrades? Uh, probably round. Two, probably go after round oh. table hold. Hello, sir. Okay, I'm doing puny damage, boss. I'm doing puny damage. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, okay. What do we got? Yeah, they probably need to be upgraded first. Glass shard. Well, I mean, even my stuff is doing pretty puny damage. Wonder if they 
are like the ones from Bloodborne. Bloodborne has... Heads up, there's something! Something on the road! It looks like a dog, but it's on fire. Do you want me to isolate it? Um... These guys don't seem like they're moving or responding. All right, here he comes. Okay. Now watch with this red fire. At least, uh, at least they still have poise. At least they still have a decent amount of poise. And, and by decent, I mean decently low. All right. Oh, watch, check this out. Huh? What? Here, here, watch here. Oh yeah, I was listening to these for a second. Um, it looks like they're. What are these places? It looks like they are also gravestones, just bigger. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I really like the aesthetic right. of this place. Look at all. I'm the, scared, boss. It's like a cemetery that you can ride a horse through. <laughs> All right. According, That's exactly what's put me off. According to the uh, map, inside this church are our next scatter tree fragments. And also, okay. Uh, there is a knight. Yeah, let's pull him out. There, there may be other dudes in there. That is a yeah. Big, Boss, take over, take over, take over. Big ass hammer. Ooh, he has some health. Oh, oh boy, Scoob. He's got some health. Already gave me a weapon? Oh, wait a minute. The weapon of the Black Knights, servants of Mesmer the Impel. These guys serve Mesmer too. Great hammer of black steel with decorative embellishments in gold. I like his clothing Plus though. an air tree incantation. Burly holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Guard counters cause a burst of power. It's a weapon with a skill on its guard counter, and it does holy damage, and if you holy it again, it gets even stronger. That's really fucking cool. The Church of Consolation. Dolu, do you need to be consoled about anything? Uh, yeah, I need water. <laughs> you know what? I need water too. Anyone up for a hydrate? Oh, there's another dog over there. Well, there are two of them, these uh, fragment things. Two, 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 two skidoo. Oh, it's like a whole campsite over here. A, a campsite, yeah. Butterflies. In the sky. Are we finally going to see some of these guys who are not just like keeled over from depression? Not that guy. Hello, sir. No, 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 <laughs> All right, didn't know Peter was here. <laughs> every, every, every camp has its Peter. Well, the holy arrow works pretty good in this one, boss. Nice. Fire coil. Use FP to conjure ti tiny fire snakes. A device of fire used Ooh. by Mesmer's soldiers. It's a craftable Who's item. Who's Mesmer? Who the hell is Mesmer? He seems to be the boss around this area. The boss boss. Uh, the writhing snakes pursue foes. That's cool. Fire was a symbol of the crusade, and even Mesmer's rank and file, file soldiers would use it. Very cool. Boss, look at here. There's a whole place down there. 
Look. On your right. Yeah. <laughs> of course there is. But um, yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to get there. Right. That is the verticality. Yeah, I heard you say this earlier. What is the meaning of that, boss? Uh, so vertical or verticality uh, is uh, the up and down direction. So if something is vertical, then it's like the side of a building. It is straight up and down. And verticality means that there's a lot of up and down movement. What is this? Oh, I see. Do like gem. elevators. Yeah, elevators give a level verticality. All right. Glows at night mainly and blossoms mainly at the water side. Said to have been used in the Gosh. practice of sprite medicine long ago. Yes? A dude with torch. I bet he's got a horn too. He looks like a horn. Carrier. Legendary item. Careful for a trap, boss. Could be a trap. Right next to a legendary item. I'm not so sure how easy this is. Are these guys depressed? They look depressed. Well, at least the damage is still nice. Blessing of Miracle. Blessing? A flask? Completely restores HP and heals all ailments. It's a it's a sacred blessing. One-time Mer use or are reusable? Merica, one, I think it's a one-time use. And you can only hold one at a time. Merica once created several of these physics for Mesmer's sake, but never again. <gasps> so Merica was working with Mesmer. But something happened. <laughs> Thank you, FromSoft, for the... Very easy to understand lore. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for being so transparent and forward about the, the lore of your your DLC. <laughs> okay. Um I'm gonna do a quick quick map check. Okay. We have uh it looks like there's another scattered tree fragment here, but I don't think we can reach it. Is that right? Okay, yeah, it looks like there's an area that's like below this area. All right, in this first area, there are two more bosses. Um, the, let's see. There's a mausoleum and a furnace core. Wolfie awakens. Hello, stranger. Hello. Uh, welcome to the stream of destiny. I must go to sleep. The office awaits me in four hours. Thanks for streamizing. Uh, well, I completely understand because I only got like six hours of sleep last night. So get some rest, buddy, so you don't fall asleep at work. Thanks for the raid. So good to see you. And uh, I'll talk to you uh, on the other side. Uh, okay. So, this is fascinating. Do I have the holy infusion uh, spell? Holy, what now? I think I do. Oh, but I don't have the int to use it? What the fuck? <laughs> dog. No. Dog. No. All right. So according to the thing, we can now upgrade our shadow realm of blessing. Yes. Okay, so the first one is one, but then it takes two. I bet it goes up even more than that. 
We're gonna need to find a lot of these. All right. Why don't we go to the round table hold and do a little weapon upgrading so we can try out these weapons. We were watching you a few years ago, but I forgot to follow. Oh, new items. Well, I appreciate you finding me again. Welcome. Uh, a lot has changed <laughs> since a few years ago. <clears throat> Ready to go, boss? Uh, to the round table hold. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, fucked off a little. Your boss tell me before doing that, I scared. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Hello. <laughs> but thank you for the follow. Welcome to Claymera Enterprises, where over time is the only time. <laughs> no, uh, we're just on overtime right now because um, we uh, need to we need to hit those numbers, man. Need to get those numbers. Okay, I should have enough to upgrade. Problem solved. Well, thank you. Welcome. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy your stay with Isaac Anzu, the lyrical, clerical, and chimerical VTuber. Welcome to the new stage of history. Uh, okay. What did we, what did we get here? The Beast Claw. So let's just... I'm gonna use the claw. Should I? Does this hammer we got is a fate based uh, thing, boss? Yeah, I'm gonna skip on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try him out. Where's this hammer? Ah, oh, here it is. The black steel great hammer. Oh, I might not have enough runes to upgrade this thing. Uh Oh Hey, the, the little skull runes give you more runes. Oh I still have I still have remembrances from our last stream. I should I should uh do those too. Alright. Welcome to the new stage of upgrades. There, the crone is dead here. She's dead. Oh, two remembrances, boss. Malekith Blackblade and Blackblade uh, other thing. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna fully upgrade things until we're sure. I think I know who used to play with you. I'm unsure. I don't want to say without permission, because most people don't want to know. Oh. Well, if you want to uh, message me on Twitter or Whisper, I don't even have enough. I do want to use the Black Blade incantation. Let's do that. And then what's this? Spew the golden breath, breath of Dragonlord Priscilla's juice Okay, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll spew the golden breath of Dragonlord Plissigus X. Oh, check this out, the thing I have in my hand. Look. Did you get the, oh yes. I got the other one, the incantation, which I should probably equip, right? Uh, Memorize spells. Yeah, unfortunately, these aspects of the Crucible are a little underpowered, aren't they? Can I, um, offensive incantations? Where's my new Dragon Breath spell? Uses three slots. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, remove, remove. What else don't I use? There's got to be a poison swamp in in the dlc right they wouldn't not introduce a new poison swamp 
The holy damage incantation requires 13 intelligence. Okay. Dolo, I'm going to take a quick uh, journey to the Ryan Lucara Academy. Uh, but yeah, Wolfie, I appreciate your discretion in not talking about people when they're not present. But if you want to have a private conversation with me on, on Twitter or Discord or uh, in a whisper, uh, all that is fine. Yes. Private conversations, boss. Just I... give me 13 int. That is what I want. Um, 16 decks for purposes of wielding weapons. 60 strength. And then whatever's left into endurance. Oh, hell yeah. Are you doing a respect boss? I just wanted enough. Um, I wanted enough uh, intelligence to cast this, this, uh, this particular um, miracle. Incantation. Oh yeah. Okay. So now I can. Now I've got the. Uh... Oh right. This is a safe zone. Okay. How do I get back to show Shadow Realm map? Okay. To the scorched ruins. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to message me on Discord, uh, that is fine. Okay, so this has a, um, this has a guard counter thing, and also I have to test holy armament on it. So, eight hundred and nineteen damage. Oh <laughs> wait, that is, Whoa, what is this? What that the? is sick. That is sick. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I dig. Um. And then it gets even better when uh, you uh, holy armament up. Also, damn. Are you picking for, up a fight with this torch? For some some big weapon, this thing is fast. All right, uh, I apply holy damage to my weapon. It does so much damage now. Okay, not, not... 900 base. <laughs> A thousand damage. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm <clears throat> I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that 1700? Yeah, that was a fully fully charged attack, which I think I have the axe talisman on, so that that's going to be my best. Um... Imagine if you have a resolve dagger on the other hand offhand. I have a and you resolve yeah. and you resolve it, boss. You know that knight's resolve and then you use this. Oh my. Yeah, this hammer is kind of sick. All right, I feel ready. Maybe okay. I'm not ready. But let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the hell? Okay. I'm attacking the face, boys. Oh my, he has a lot of hit points. Am I supposed to jump? Jump! Okay. We jump. Okay, uh, this looks, uh... We, we attempt to jump. We... Make sure our blade is... 
Okay, he does a, a normal... I wonder if that's a grab attack. Oh, God. No? Jesus. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Totally normal attack from a, a normal guy. Oh! So there is a jump and an oh god there's a j on on when he jumps there is a explosion and a fire thing yeah okay 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 I, I'm, I'm not picking up what he's putting down he is putting down a lot of damage god damn it even even the big slow motherfuckers are very fast in this dlc uh -huh. Eh? Oh. He like stance breaks, but he doesn't stance break. Does that make sense? Mother. Oh god. Bad move. Bad move, Isaac. So much HP. Up. I'm guessing. I'm guessing there's got to be like, because he's he's stance breaking, right? There's got to be a point where he, like, falls over and then you can, like, smack him for massive damage, right? Yeah. Oh, bigger jump, bigger jump, bigger jump! <laughs> okay. Collect the rod of Oh god, it's happening again! Alright, I'm starting to get the timing of the jump down. Fall. Fall over. Fall over! He's not falling over. He refused to fall. I'm guessing getting stepped on is like instant death. Okay. Oh, 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 he fell down, fell down, fell down. Oh, you can hit him in the face. All right, let me, uh. What's up? 50,000 damage. Yeah, that's, uh. What? 50? 50? 50,000 damage. Um. Hmm. This makes me wonder, though. If that's that's how you're supposed to do it, let me just uh If that's how you're supposed to do it. I wonder if the damage you do even matters or if it's like a number of hits or a, a boys thing. Right. Wait, you, you know what this calls for, boss? This calls for poise break arrows. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm putting I'm putting Craig on my fists. Let's go, Craig. Okay, That's going for poise break. Oh god. No grab. No grab. Oh god. Boss, why are you up there? I'm Boss, come down here. Somehow I survived. Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we know. <laughs> now we know that he just puts you in his little head hole and then deletes you. That's a lot of damage. All right. I'm on my way back, Delu. I'm on my way back. <laughs> Strong insta kill. I mean, this guy is supposed to be like a field boss, right? And if you get grabbed by it, isn't that your fault? Where are my runes? Oh my god.
Okay, there is there is an outer limit. Oh, it's even easier on horse. Let's go. What kind of multiplayer is this? I only know of the normal filled finger summon or whatever it's called. Uh, so this is a mod called Seamless Co-op, and it is absolutely fantastic. Um, they let you summon anywhere, anytime. Uh, you persist after boss encounters, and as long as you're not fighting a boss, like with a, a, a boss health bar, then you can uh, just kind of come back whenever you want. It is overpowered by the looks of it. It is, and uh, it is definitely more for like, let's just have fun exploring and fighting things together rather than trying to say like, I want to learn how to defeat the bosses. I want to learn their move sets. I want to learn how to parry, how to dodge, right? Okay, I'm pretty sure. Oh, she's going down, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I got him. He got me. Dang, Dolu. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that the stagger is based on number of hits. So he dropped a furnace visage. A visage just means face. A, a smaller imitation of the furnace golem's visage. Exceedingly rare to find. Okay, so we probably just have to kill these guys to get them. A stone mask sur surrounded by curled horns, depicting the fell god of fire that haunts the Did sagas. Did he only do 16,000? Horn, horn set. He did not give a lot of runes, but he did give a, 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 a um, I'm going to switch back what is to, it? to the, the thing. It's, it's, uh, a, whatchamacallit, a, physic? a physic tier. Yeah. Crystal tier forms slowly over the ages where the scattered sap of the scattered tree pools deep within the furnace golems. So the furnace golems give you physic tiers. Okay, okay. Wait, what did we get much? I can't see. Where? It's the deflecting hard tier. Oh, this one. Enhances spontaneous guard in mixed physics. Oh, good for you, boss. Mm. I'm going to go to the sleep at 1 a.m. and I will hopefully be able to join another stream. Well, thank you so much for staying up a little late to, to stick around with us. Uh, I hope you have a great sleep and I'll catch you next time. Damage negation and guard poise will be heightened in the moment immediately after assuming a guarding stance. Successfully executing a spontaneous guard will also strengthen guard counters. Okay. So, <laughs> good night, Isaac and Stranger I've never seen before. Oh, that's just Dolu. You don't have to worry about him. Uh, let's try it. Deflecting hard tier. So now, for bosses, my guard counters are better. And I'm using the item that makes awesome guard counters. Okay. Um, yes, okay. It's even on the map as a little place. That, yep. Look birds, at this. Boss, birds. Look at this bird. <laughs> Bird needs to get on my poise level. What? Oh, Smithy Stone's a lot of them. Yeah, I've already gotten a couple fives and sixes. Uh, Some sort of snails, boss. Snails? These things. Snakes? Yeah, Worms? whatever. I don't know what they are. Worms? Worms. Earthworms? I don't know. What Wait, can we hit them? Yes. Oh, okay, oh, they all get swollen faces. Oh, they all get angry. Okay. okay, I hope they don't move or anything. Okay. It doesn't look like they do, but. Watch the. Uh... 
Well, mm. I guess... Okay, it looks like they calmed down after a second. I guess we should take out one and see what it drops. Show me your... Show me your drop table. Oh, they dropped Ghost Glove Warts. I wonder if the, it's randomized or if it's always a three. Interesting. It's one for me. They dropped a one for you? Mm -hmm. Still Ghost? Ghost Glove Wart? Yeah, Ghost. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, there's... Oh, there's a one Grave Glove Wart. Okay. Cool. So they are basically a way to farm flowers. Question is, do they respawn? I bet they do. They're probably not, uh, like, non responding enemies. Yeah, and there's a ghost glove wart, too. I wonder if, I wonder if in this starting area they only give like one through three, and then later on maybe we can find some that give more. Anyway, did we, uh, we didn't like a boss that that furnace golem. I'm just gonna look out into the distance and hit the butt the button. Like a boss. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, we did we did, we did clip that boss? We oh didn't my clip goodness. It. I was so a mausoleum already? I was so shocked. Okay, yes. So this is a boss. Alright, I'm gonna drink my I'm gonna do my whole whole setup, whole routine. Okay, yeah, here's the thing. We don't even know what kind of boss is this, so I don't know about my arsenal yet. True. I'm just gonna switch to bleed for, uh, for purposes. Fair enough. It's a Black Jail Knight. Ooh, he's got Ooh. the... All right, show me guard counter. Not bad. Not bad. He's got some sort of slash attack he was charging up there. Classic hammer heavy. Distraction, boss? Dope. Yeah, boss? I thought I said we weren't supposed to put the employees on the clock for this uh, DLC. Oh, we were not? No, no, no. He can heal. Okay, fair enough. Get back here, you. It's okay. Uh, we'll just say that uh, Oleg was like uh, just stopping in the office to, to, to pick up something that he left behind. Oh, Jesus. All right, time to time to watch Dolu. Oh <laughs> my God, he's such a big cushion. Hello, Varelli Blue. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Isaac Anzu, the lyrical, chimerical, clear. <laughs> I'm dying. Uh, the lyrical, clerical, chimerical VTuber. We are uh, currently watching my employee Dolu uh, die. <laughs> Bridge raid. Let's go. Oh, there's a Steak America. Nice. Hello, streaming World of Warcraft. Dang, are they are they still releasing content for that? I mean, probably, right? They have to. Dolu, you here? Yes, boss. I'm here, boss. Okay. I'm just uh, taken aback by this defeat, boss. Yeah, all of a sudden, so strong. Uh, so, <laughs> Perry does ask to Oblivion. Although I did that to most bosses in the DLC. Ah, parry uh -huh. strats. Interesting. Uh, yes. So we are on our all bosses completion journey. Um, 
And that means... Oh, bruh. So no summons boss, right? Yeah, we're trying... We're trying... To do these sure, without boys? summons. I'm sure, I'm sure. There's no point in collecting revered ashes, right? Well, I think it also increases your your horse's uh, capabilities. So, so as to um, so as to not die instantly on our horses, we should also. Oh, he's backstabbed. Uh, we should Am also. Am I really doing like one damage to him? Um, uh, are you? No, you're doing pretty good I don't damage. Know. Uh, my heavy How attacks. My heavy attacks are only doing. Uh, like a thousand damage. And he's got a heal in him, so watch out. Oh, I see. You know, you know what this deflecting hard tier reminds me of? Uh, Sekiro. Distract, please. No healing for you. Uh, no healing you for you. <laughs> Bully mode activated. Ooh. Great sword of solitude. New armor set? It's not heavy, heavy armor. A. The nameless mausoleums of the Realm of Shadow are said to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. Cool, cool. Uh, and then we also got a sword, right? Let's read about... Boss, uh, I feel highly conducive about bow and arrow in this one. Highly conducive? Yeah. You like it? <laughs> I mean, it is okay, but it's like you need to figure out how it works. But uh, I mean, it's situational. <laughs> Somewhere it's really good. Some it's like super bad. We'll we'll try to we'll try to figure it out. I've heard that if I've heard that one of the big selling points of the DLC is that you need to kind of use a lot of different styles and and stuff. Solitary moon well, slash. For this one, uh, this great bowl of grand sacks actually worked. Nice. I must dip. I require sleep. Y'all have a good one. Good luck with the DLC. Well, thank you so much for the raid. Super, super Yo, appreciate it. Uh, and yep, have yep. a good, have a good rest. Enjoy your, enjoy your sleepy times. Uh, okay. Um. Let me just check the the several maps that I have open. Looks like the next place we need to go is. Uh, oh, thank you. I didn't need to heal. You gave me healing. The next place we need to go is over this way. All right, boss. Following you. And there are birds around. Be cautious of bird. Don't you know about the bird and everybody knows that the oh it's the um it's the the cross thing. It's a it's a sight of grace. There's a dude in here, boss. Hello. Lady Leda spoke of you. Lady Leda. Oh, I. Sorry, boss. My bad. I was talking to her. My bad. No, I can't talk to her. One sec. <laughs> oh, 
There we go. Lady, let us smoke on you. Weren't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Radan. Yo. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Okay. Oh, another thing. Another thing. Do you speak to our Dara little friend? A map, she says. If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the Cross's whereabouts. You'll find more of them down Mikola the Kind's footprint. If you've yet to see new intent. Okay, where is this friend? Um. Oh, here. Hello, sir. Our dour little friend. Hi. Another. Treading the heels of Mikela. Uh huh. Then, as that woman would truly say, we are in our purposes well aligned. Yes. But understand, your kind are not forgiven. The uh -huh. country is my people's enemy. While Marika long set aflame. I believe Mikela's apologies. When he said mm. our delivery will come, but never will I see your kind as worthy. I urge you, follow after Mikela. Enemy to you. you I swear I can whoop you right now. I urge you, as long as you are. So, this guy doesn't like us. <laughs> but there's hey, a this thing, boss. scatter tree fragment here. I abandon here the first of the flesh of my body. If you've yet to do so, assuming you Okay, we got a map. In in classic Elden Ring fashion, it is an awful map. Um Fight Smart. Wait, aren't those locations we huh? just saw most? It looks like it looks like there is it looks like this is the bridge he's talking about. So it's probably like here and here. Afraid I can't see your marking. Oh, a little further, a little further in. I follow you, boss. I follow you. Yeah. Looks like it wants us to go in in uh, this direction over here. Which we will. Which we will. Uh, and we also got a, a scatter tree fragment. Uh, but we need two to level up. All right. Uh, next we go through this big, big archway over here. Oh, never even saw that. Oh my god. It sure big, is foggy around here, right? Big archway. Well, it is the land of shadow, you know. Ah, wait a minute. Yeah. Is that the other one? Okay. I found another cross. Okay. I hear some. Uh... Another sight of grace and more NPCs. <laughs> Baller. Examine the cross. Huh. Oh, instead, I'm going to talk to this guy. Formerly in service to Lord Moog. Ooh. Moog? My fighting days are far behind me, mm -hmm. which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation, uh -huh. to discern Tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. Uh -huh. I'd rather not volunteer service to a new master unless I know that I can be of use. So this guy was the servant of Moog. I request the service of you. Six crosses identical to this one have been discovered in these lands. They are akin to tender Nicholas footprints or gravestones. Okay, find the crosses. That seems to be the thing everybody wants us to do. Aren't they two anti parties, boys? Just what kind of Mikola is doing? If 
you discover is certain to tell me. I presume you just what Oh, there's another one here. Another cross? Oh, look. I says the same no, thing. No, no, dude. Uh, and another guy here. Oh. Hello, sir. Looks like you. Together. We work together. For Mikola the cut many things. We have found. <gasps> he's oh, a merchant. He's a vendor. Okay, well, oh, I think arrow seller. I'm arrow seller. time. Oh, there's. I think he pickled pickle or... liver, wild pickled turtle net. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. Pretty expensive rune arcs. Uh. Grown by blood fiends in pools of blood. Perhaps even the fiends admire blood's beauty. So he sells some crafting materials. He sells I... some. Uh, he sells some craftable items and some craftable materials. Then I call BS on this game's so called percentage drop rates. The mission I'm doing has a 20% drop rate for him after. After 12 runs, it still hasn't dropped. <laughs> well, listen, man, that's, uh, that's what, it, uh, I'm just gonna buy all this. I have the runes. Uh, that's what it means, man. That's, uh, that's what percentage means. It's not guaranteed, you know? Boss, I broke his supplies. Why would you do that? I can sell. I'm just going to buy everything. I'm run this man out of stock. Okay. Talk to him. I like finding things. He likes finding things. Lady Leda, her allies, and the forager brute. Things bring joy to all. I for you. Things. Aww. I... He's, a, he's a sweet guy. Thank him. All right. uh, he sounds like me also. Okay, boss, I think we're supposed to bring him something. Oh? What are we supposed to bring him? Oh, we have another scatter tree. Blessing. Let's go. <gasps> Three. Welcome. I for you. Things bring. Uh, he's not giving me any other dialogue. I says, see, he says I like to find stuff. Well, maybe we can find stuff with him. Yeah, maybe we bring something to him. Empyrean blood burgeon. Said to burgeon Empyrean forth from the blood golden virgin? blood of Megillah. No, 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 burgeon. Okay. Also, stop, stop checking the cross. <laughs> or the golden blood of Megillah. Not checking the cross, boss. Empyrean pool. It, it seems like you are. No, it, boss, no. It, keep, it keeps me. activating. Okay. Yeah, I'm surprised as well. Okay. First descendant where I've gotten the 2% rare item drop rate. I mean, that's variance, man. Uh, the humans. Uh, okay, so apparently there's a path this way. Oh, God. Just ignore the dogs for now. Um, right. More white flesh mushrooms. Uh, one of the things that humans are really bad at is, um, algebra. The, the way, well, yeah, uh, statistics, estimating probabilities, right? Like, it's a 20% drop rate, which means you have a 1 in 5, here we go, item, smithing stone 3. You have a 1 in 5 chance of getting it. Even after 12 runs, like, it's still, like, well within the realm of possibility that it just hasn't dropped yet, right? Okay. 
It's a pain in the ass is what it is. That's true. <laughs> I want to move on and farm other stuff, but I need it as this, the only fire guy I have access to, and I need a fire dude. What game are you playing? The First Descendant? I'm not familiar with, with that one. All right. Holy damage. Each run has one in five, and I keep hitting the four out of five options. Yes. Did you pass through bat spawns? I did. <laughs> I also accidentally killed a dog with my uh, backswing. Uh, feel free to sit at the the grace. Yeah, but watch this thing. I don't know. Listen. It's impossible to know things about a FromSoft game before the item description tells you. Nice. Did he drop something? Mm. No, then we still have no idea. He dropped a string for me. <laughs> I wonder if they're related to demi humans, because demi humans always drop a string. Could they be their ancestors? Maybe. Oh, another of uh, Dr. Origins. Are we, uh, are we in the past? Is this like a primordial? It looks, yeah, it looks like past, boss. It looks like. I can't put my finger on why, but it does. Like an old. You know what I think? Uh, you know what? I have a feeling, boss. Remember we touched a finger in the cocoon at the Mog's Palace thingy? I do remember that. I think we are in mind of. We are inside the mind of that whatever thing is inside it. We are in just. We are just in its mind, boss. The mind of Mikla. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Everybody is saying that they've been summoned here by Nicola. Get out of here. All right. If we follow this path, there should be another shadow tree fragment. It's a I month and a bit old. I think Warframe, but with Destiny and other third person shooter games mixed in. Mind you, boys. Huh? Enemy? Oh. Excuse me, sir. Get out of here. Still no item. Interesting. I the 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 only really like third person shooter that I've ever played was. Yeah, see, there's a pot guy here. Eat him. And then start dodging. That is what I've learned about these graveyards. Get him. Hit him. What the him. hell? Yeah, see, this is why we need to uh, upgrade our, our, our horse, right? Otherwise, we're just going to get knocked off our horse when we're trying to go, go around here. Another silver horn tender. Ghost Glove work for. So what did that pot guy give us? He was shiny. Uh, it's over here. Did you pick it up? It's a scatter tree fragment. Oh. Yeah, we gotta we gotta look out for the shiny pot boys. Okay. Shiny pot boys. Is there something else back here? Could be. There's a big guy. I see him. I want to check out that ruin up there, too. Oh, right. Another big guy. <laughs> nice. This one is fun, but damn, the grind is really a grind. Oh, well, watch out for that. You know, sometimes 
sometimes games are fun, but they lack content. They lack oh, substance. And then they try back. to make up for substance with, with grind. What am I looking at? You see the thing hanging up there? Do you think I can shoot that thing? Oh, uh, give it a shot. I don't know why it would be there if you couldn't interact with it. Shoot it, Dolan. Yeah, right? Shoot it down. Oh, there's more flowers over here. Oh, he dropped something. What are you? String Sellers, oh God. String Sellers Bellberry. Uh, offer to the Twin Maiden Husks to gain access to string. Man, the horn scent are all over this place. Hey, Sanguine Amaralis, is the Sanguine does it here as well? Sanguine Nobles and stuff? I'm, wait a minute. Grown by blood fiends and pools of blood. I wonder if these guys are the blood fiends. Oh, they do like spit blood. Prospect Town. Boss, is me or the weather keeps changing drastically? It it does. Can go up here. Oh, I found I found an up. I found an up. Found a what now? I found a way up. Into Blood Fiend Town. Holy weapon. Oh, I forgot this thing just has endure on it. Behind you, boss, behind you, another one. Get out of here. You'd say this game has done that for sure. Uh, that's unfortunate, but that is the way that a lot of games are going these days. <coughs> I would I would be hesitant to try it even because this is this is the same reason why I'm hesitant to play a game like Monster Hunter because I just I just know I just know that the grind is so long in those games and. I'm a completionist by heart. I, if I started playing, I would find it difficult to stop. I only have one game that preys upon me in a completionist sense, and that is Magic the Gathering. Uh, also, Dolu, can you give me just a second? I found a pack Thanks, of blood. Find your way to me. I found a pack of blood fiends that we'll want to take on together, but I need to go check on something real quick. Yeah, I'm right here, boss. Okay, you would see. I'll be right back. can do is we can't actually All right, isolate back. them. Mm -hmm. boss, we can, we can isolate them. Uh, yeah. We can Monster, isolate them, boss. Monster Hunter is definitely uh, a big boy. Okay. What's the strategy? Let's isolate, boss. Let's isolate. Isolation. Isolation. Uh, yeah, call him. Never mind. Oh, they're linked. I got your back, boss. You survive. Did he just fucking jump on me? Okay, well, I fell down. But they're falling down, too. So I guess that's okay. 
Damn, this hammer with the, the holy armament on it is actually flipping sick. Can I call the other ones too, boss, down here? Uh, did they not move? Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, give me a second. Let me get back up there. I really want to call that one guy holding the scepter thingy. Yeah, he definitely seems to be the boss. All right, at this point, I think we can handle the rest of them. All right, boss. Oh, he's a bulk oh. sword, boss. Oh, Jesus. Okay, blood fiends indeed. Hey, you. Stop it. I said stop it. I got you, Dolu. You dropped you... something. Blood Fiend's arm. What? It's a weapon. <laughs> uh, the arm pulled from the corpse of one of their kin. Oh, geez. Wielded as a makeshift weapon. Having been sanctified by a blood ritual, this armament is capable of spraying blood stored within when executing a strong attack. That is cool. I flippin' love this. They, they're items, items with skills on different uh, attacks. Let me just try that out. I can't use it. It needs arcane. It needs arcane. Yeah, I can't use it either. Oh, God. Okay, new level up goal. Just get everything to like 20 or so so that we can use whatever we find. I really want to change my build into arcane dex boss. You can do that. Oh, actually, really wait a minute. There's a thing that raises arcane right here. It's probably plus five. Like no, no, like full ones. on, full on uh, shift to by chance, boss. Do you have any chance to uh, an extra pair of scavenger swords? Of 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 what? Scavenger sword, boss. Sword, scavenger swords. Yeah. Um. The one we get from that scion in the Mount Gelmir thingy. I mean, I haven't. It's a it's a curved sword, boss. Ah, yes, I do have I do have one. Would you like it? Yeah, I like to change my build into a double scavenger sword, a uh, full dex build, boss, or dex arcane. Okay. Uh, let me let me drop that for you. I gotta do it from here, apparently. Curved sword, scavenger's curved sword. Leave. Hey, boss. Of course. Um, all right. Good talisman. Uh, let's see if there's other stuff around here. Checking the back. Hmm. Flowers. Can we reach the top of this thing? Up there? Up where? The top up, of up this oh up, up the this side thing. of this thing maybe i mean there's a uh, clothing here i don't know if we can can we climb this clothing maybe oh well sure can maybe it's possible um yeah okay i'm at the listen i'm i'm working on my <laughs> uh Magic the Gathering Arena collection. I don't have time for Monster Hunter. <laughs> climb, climb, climb. That's half the fun of these games. Oh. Uh, I don't think there's anything here, though. Okay. Yeah, and it looks like much. you can't get higher than that. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Which way? Which way? Uh oh, there's an item here. What are you? Somber four. Nah, pass. Pass. 
You don't know how many, uh... You don't know how many somber weapons we're gonna find that you might want to try, though. Somber 1 through 4, four we can buy, boys. Well, uh, somber 1 through 9, we can buy. Yeah. Okay, where did you go now? Uh, I, I just kept dropping down until I got here. Here I am. Dropping like a... Scatty man. <laughs> no blood feed. No. Okay, this weapon is baller as fuck. <laughs> this weapon is on it. I'm super dicking this weapon. All right, boss, go for it then. Ooh. Hit. What? Wait, Dylan. Ooh, what's this guy? It's Can one you of. Kill him? Well, it's I. What you said of those Wait, I can't. I can talk to him, and I can't lock on to him. He gives you a cookbook. What? Oh, Fireproof pickle liver. So these cockroaches are friendly in this one? I guess so. He gave us oh, stuff. Fascinating. All I, right. I was suspicious from the moment I couldn't lock onto him. Now these guys are so lock on ball. The the light attack chain on this thing is just so so brutal. Whack, 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 whack. What do we got? Schmithen stone, great error. Yep. Okay, let me let me check the the map real quick because I want to make sure we're not missing anything. A broken room. Thunderstorm. Thirty-seven. Suddenly the storm is up, boss. Eh, what? Eh, what? Okay, okay, so if you stay it doesn't out look of the like, forest, there is. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's any. Um... Oh yeah. <gasps> Big sheep. Can we talk to him? Nope. Oh, but they're just like the, the sheep in the Altus Plateau. Oh, but they drop um, yellow folder. It's got roly poly. It's a roly poly sheep. <laughs> it, it is. It is just a big version Holy. of the Altus Plateau. Get back here. It, it, it hurts so, it hurts so much. <laughs> uh, okay, what, what did he drop though? Nothing? Yellow Fulgur Bloom. Blossoms in the Realm of Shadows underground grave sites and places struck by lightning. Imbued with yellow lightning's essence. Okay. Don't get hit by lightning sheep. That is your your task uh so it seems that there is not another boss or um shadow tree fragment over here but there are some uh, more I, I spotted another big sheep though yeah there are some more locations up here now i have a dlc power against you I found another spinny guy. Ooh, okay, I don't even know where you are. You were trying to fucking grab me, weren't you? Um, There's a very big boar here, sir. Oh, shit. Oh, that didn't do a whole lot of damage. There well, you go. I'm, I'm fighting a dude down below. Okay, taking care. Let me come to you. Let me come to you. Oh, here, you, here, you came to me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we should go up before we go down. There is a big boar up there, sir. 
Let's fight it. Feel so clean like a money machine, oh yeah. What's up, boar? Uh, I need to see aesthetic risk guards. Oh, it's not, a, it's not a boar, it's a bear. Of the tower's aesthetics, which embody their commitment to an austere Boss bear behind you? Of... Risk guards of the tower's aesthetics, which embody their commitment to an austere existence of strict self-control. In order to ascend from their mortal flesh into tutelary deities, the boy may heighten their spirituality through severe aesthetic training. Oh, so the spinny spinny guys are trying to become the tutelary deities that collect uh, the revered spirit ash. Oh fuck! Uh, Almost. Boss a building down there. My probable death. Yes, I was heading down around towards that thing, but I think it says there's an, a location up here. Yes. I sh I'm sure we can jump to, okay, location up there, okay. Oh. A painting? Okay. Work of a wandering artist, reminiscence of a painting titled Incursion. The painter is said to have captured the landscape scene during the mass. Yep, 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 the soul of the painter, okay. So there are paintings in this um, realm as well that we can go find. All right, Dilu, keep, I'm gonna skip you know. keep your eyes open for incursion. All right, boss. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> okay, let's hey, let's, hey. let's go let's go uh, let's go around and find that um, building. I can't use the Blood Fiend's arm. I could use the Great Sword of Solitude. Oh. <sighs> Delu, can you just give me a minute? My my cat has uh, uh, loosed some of his food onto the floor. Yeah, no problem, <laughs> boss. I'll be right back. Keep them entertained, Dolu. Keep them entertained. Okay. Keep them entertained. Okay. For the entertaining part, I have to be the screen. I see. Uh, so, that's... Hmm. That's what I'm really eating. Oh. Here? Here. All right, everybody who's watching, ah, uh, boss Isaac wants me to entertain you, and I don't know how to do that except for changing clothing. That seems to be the only thing I can do right now. That is me. Okay, I also want to show you how I don't look like how I look like without my mask. That is me. That is my awesome. Uh, Persona, as you can say. Yeah. Ow. I don't know what you want to ask. I don't know what to do. But, uh. Anybody here likes bow builds? Because I'm rocking a bow build. It seemed to work really fine in the normal game, the base game, but here in the DLC. Whoa, I'm struggling. I'm thinking of changing my build to something like a uh, Dex Arcade or something. Something on those lines, yeah. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what bees. What's what's bees? Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. boss is back. Boss is back. <laughs> the Church of Benediction. Let's check it out. Scatoo? No. It's boss. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> 
It was once thought that the blessed sap of the air tree would drip from its boughs forever. But that age of plenty swiftly came to a close, and with time, the air tree became more an object of faith. Air tree sap. We could sell it. Let's bottle it up and sell it. Wait, where is the air tree sap? Uh, oh, that too. The blessed dew talisman talks about it. Uh, All right. Item. I think it slowly regenerates FP. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Old seeker set. Oh. It's a lot worse than my armor. An Oath Seeker Knight Helm, black with gold ornamentation. These knights set up on quests of discovery, hoping to find themselves an oath by choosing to serve in perfect lifelong devotion. That's pretty cool looking. And then we also got the Pata. <gasps> it's a fist weapon. <laughs> yes. uh, oh, wait, hold on. No way. No way is this just like sticks. Okay, it is sticks. Look, look, look at this. Look at this, Dolu. My arms have been replaced by, my arms have been replaced by swords. <gasps> okay. Do they cause bleed, boys? Do they? No. What do they do? Um, What's their skill? Can be swung around like a fist or used in the manner of an in, of a straight sword. Impaling thrust uh. that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields. Build power then lunge forward for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Wait a minute. Oh. Our Skadu... Blessing is giving us golden stats. Let's go. So the light attack is a fist attack. The strong attack and the skill are sword attacks. That's cool. Um. I don't know if I like it more than the hammer. Uh, <laughs> the hammer is, is growing on me. Okay. Yep. There is a place to fall down here. Oh, you read it. Oh, there's hey, a don't fall down without me. Ah. Sir, now where did you go? Uh, Here, there's a ledge over where I am that I was able to drop down on without damage. Why? Okay. I didn't even be there. All right. Okay, I'm here too. Tunnel. Oh, it's just Oh, it just shield. leads you back. Okay, okay. All right. So I think we should probably do this area next. Okay, let's go to I see the... A grace. There's a grace right here, boss. Yeah, we already got it. <laughs> let's go to three path cross. A cross with three paths. Three path cross, you say. Uh-huh. Okay. Might as well collect these Imperium Blood Virgins. Nobody wants to talk to me until I sit at the grace. Or am I oh wait. Uh I can upgrade my Shadow Room Balancing? Did we get another Skadoo? Oh no, we got another Reverend Spirit Ash. Okay. Horse becomes stronger. In battle. In battle. Yep. I urge you as long as you will. Okay. 
Uh, so next up, we are going to explore this upper area of the gravesite plane before we cross the, the bridge. Okay. All right, so northward. Northward we go. North! Word! <laughs> Word up. We're going north. Did you, um, did you respec? Uh, not yet, boss. Did I? Chabor, right Savage Lion's Claw. Ooh. Swords and Axes and Hammers. It's like a circular thing, what, uh, old, what old, 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 old God does, boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spanish yeah. Knight, old Egg, sorry, he does a circular thing in the uh, Bash's ground. Well, there's already a skill called Lion's Claw, so I wonder if it's like upgraded Lion's Claw. Oh, yeah, it should be, there's boss. a Sight of Grace over here. Uh, oh, there's a... Oh, something's glowing up there, boss. Look. What are you? Oh? A larval tear? Okay. An exceptionally rare creature that bursts from spirit graves and lives only a fleeting existence. Neither flesh nor spirit, but something in between. Material acquired by the Amber A to rough people anew. Yep. Okay. Ah, so if we find... Uh, that's really nice of them. <laughs> They're like, people are going to need to change their stats in this new uh, DLC. So now you can yeah. find uh, more larval tears. Hmm. That is that is just lovely. All right, shall we uh, explore the village? Yes, boss. What do you say here? Ow, it hurts. Oh, there. From tip to toe. Ugh. Help me. I must ask. Am I human still? Is that the reason I yet suffer so? What is happening over here, Dolo? Dolo. Hey, Spice. What are these things? I don't know. Some sort of uh, bugs. <laughs> they do look rather insectile. Yeah. Incredible. Absolutely. Massive. Incroyable. Human bone shard. Are these things supposed to be like humans? Former humans? That they guy was talking boss. about suffering. These insects can fly. Oh shit. They can grab you too. No. Be off of my face. Okay, they love grabbing me, in particular. <laughs> <laughs> and you cannot guard against the grabs, mother trucker. Sleep. What is this? What is this uh, weapon art you're using, Joe? I'm using a sword of Saint Terina, boss. Sword of Saint Trina? Yo. Yeah. Is that a new weapon? No, boss. It's from Caleb. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't recognize that. It puts people to sleep, boss. As long as as long as long uh, it's not interfering with their work duties. We don't mind people sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Fly mold. Shall we read about the fly mold? Found by hunting man flies. Used for crafting items. It can serve as pot innards. Ah, okay. So there must be a lot of new craftable stuff. Did you grab the, um, whatchamacallit? Did you grab the Reverend Spirit Ash down there? Yes, boss. Okay. God damn it. Oh, jeez. Okay. That guy gave them all a buff spell. Watch out, Dulu.
That sword is pretty. Is nice, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that sword is pretty slick. Um, no item in here. It's an item over here. I hear flies. The ailment talisman. Ailment. Watch this. Raises resistance to the last ailment suffered. When certain ailments are triggered, this talisman grants resistance to the same ailment. When the weak were infected with the dreaded fly sickness, they perished well before the metamorphosis could take hold. Oddly, those who cared for the infected and made certain they were given a proper burial will never afflict themselves. This is actually nice, you know? So whatever ailment occurs on you, it gets resistance to that. Very well, nice. it's probably amazing on bosses that inflict a lot of, like, bleed No boss! Bleed no, no, no! Some, some, no boss! The dungeons! Where they're like, uh, you know those, uh... Oh! Uh, rot or poison pots or stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, it's useful there, boss. Not on bosses. Well, it could be useful on bosses if they inflict, like, bleed or frostbite. Uh, um, I'd rather use some other talisman, boss. I suppose. No. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting talisman, for sure. Interesting design. Oh, space. it is. Uh, okay, so we've got a few locations that we need to go to around here. Um, including this shack. The Greater Potent's Cookbook number 10. Hefty fly pot. Can I, can I make one? Yes, I so can. So what do I do with this hefty stuff? Oh, it's it's uh, it's for the hefty pots. I mean, we can we can craft them. What does it do, boss? What damage does it do? Uh, the fly the fly pot does uh, bleed build. Oh. So actually, kind of, kind of, not bad. Not if we, bad at all. Yeah, because because the problem with the the status pots, except for the scarlet rot pot, is they usually don't do enough uh, status to yes. trigger the status in one go. Uh huh. But maybe if it's a hefty pot, could be could be worth looking into. Oh, lake, boss! Look, a lake! Uh, yes. Apparently there's an interview in that lake. Oh. These things are totally alive. Oh, birds. Oh, yeah. That one's alive. That was not. Okay, there are three birds, and they're probably going to turn alive once I take this thing. Oh, hell yeah, boss. Grave bird armor. Oh, there's four. Four, 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 four. Get down. Right? Oh, no, there are only three. Smithing stones. Grave bird armor. Stone armor with a tinge of green. One of a set of armor pieces cast the image of the grave bird. Grave birds are ancient golems created to guard the spirit graves built where all manners of death ultimately drift. They're grave, 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 gravestone birds. Okay. Wanna wanna check out the lake? Whatever you say, boss. That that looks like an interview. That looks like an interview. One hundred percent, boss. One hundred percent. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. There should be a grace around, no? I don't know if there's a grace, but there's definitely going to be a uh, uh, what you call it. Um.
take America. Hello, Mr. Dragon. Uh oh, boss! It's a dragon! You know what that means? It's my thing! Do it! Ghost flame dragon. Oh yeah, that is like an undead dragon. Try the uh try the holy arrows on it. Boss, uh, it's still very high on HP. Yeah, but you know what it's not high on? Poise when I smack it in the head. Jesus. Okay. That did a lot of damage. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ghost flame? I mean, it is a ghost flame dragon. Let's go. God. Is this uh, jumpable? Possibly. Are you sure we're not allowed to use our minions, boss? I'm sure. We can handle this. Uh, hit him with the poise arrows okay. again. Boss, there's a great katana here. A great katana? Like a great sword, but a great katana? Yeah. I think holy damage is the way to go, Dolu. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I think holy <laughs> damage is the way to go. Oh. A dragon, a somber smithing stone? Oh my. Nice. Uh, you said there was a, a great katana? Yeah, here somewhere, boss. I, why oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. I picked it up somewhere? Great katana. Well, that's great. <laughs> and a katana. Uh, I guess they were before hammers. Yeah, okay. Great katana. Side throw questions. It, requires the wielder to throw their entire body into swinging it. Inside blood loss. So it's just a big katana. Oh, what are these? That's, what that, are these that's dragons cool. bleed? I bet they don't. I bet they don't because they seem to be very undead. I, I don't think anything bleeds here, boss. <laughs> you know, that would be like the biggest screw you to uh, the Elden Ring <laughs> player base. Yeah, I mean, I'm if thinking nothing... of making a Dex Arcane that's going to be totally bad then. What the? <laughs> if nothing bleeds. Okay. I mean, have you found anything to this point that something I didn't bleed? Um, I'm pretty sure the 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 jail knight bled. The jail ever jail guy? No, he didn't bleed, boss. He did not. He did not bleed. Okay. There's a ghost. According to the map, there is also a cave around here. Wait, tell me you clipped that, boss. Did you clip it? I did clip it. Okay. We got a scattered tree fragments. Uh, we got that really Cave, you say? Ooh, damage. boss! Check your six. Look how beautiful it is. It is gorgeous. Abs yeah. Absolutely. Uh, okay, I guess there's one more area we need to go to real quick before we okay. Okay. find a cave. Um, okay. The map has this little lower area. And there is indeed a thing here. Hello. A shack. Run down traveler's rest. Ernest visages. And the greater potent cookbook. A furnace visage? Hefty furnace pot. Wait, so it's like the furnace golem pot? Oh, you need... Red flesh mushroom, ember of mesmer, furnace visage. Throw out enemies to create a whirlwind of flame. The furnace's flame burns away both body and soul. When impunity is thus expunged, one calls it cleansing. So it's... It, okay, so they basically have... Let me just check. 
Yeah, they basically have the fire pot and the giant's flame fire pot. Because the fire pot is just strength and dex. The giant's flame fire pot is faith. So the hefty fire pot is strength and dex. And the hefty furnace pot is faith. So... Nice. Is this all that's over here? Just toying with the bird. <laughs> just messing with birds. My sister, yeah. my sister has gotten really into bird watching lately. Bird watching. Yeah. Right? Like, she got guides for it, and uh, she goes around like a checklist, sees how many birds she can see. Oh. Yeah. How how uh, interesting is that? I mean. Uh... That certainly puts your sister to be a, a, a very patient person. So, in my family, I am the oldest. Okay. And okay. then I have a younger brother and the youngest, my sister. Right? Okay. I was always the more nerdy one. Oh. And my brother was always the athletic one. I found the cave, by the way. And then my, si uh, my sister comes along and is just better at both of them than e either of us. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's up? That is so good. What's up, Delu? Uh, there, the counter says 238 off 238. I know. We hit our, our quota. Mark! We need to celebrate. <sighs> Why don't we celebrate by... Jesus, this is a long... Run. Uh, I was going to say, why don't we celebrate by going to, um, yeah. <laughs> why don't we celebrate by going to, uh, what's them call it? The round table hold and upgrading the, the great Katana. That's what I want to do. I want to try out the great Katana. Uh, should seems, I respect boss? Seems great. What do you think? Do hmm. you think I should respect? I might respect too, because I want to try out all these weapons, and it seems like. Uh, how many larval tears you got? How many larval tears do I have? That is a good question. Is it a key item? What is it? I need so many runes now. I've got nine on me. Oh wait, this is a different. Why is this different from the other one? Uh, key items. That's just. I've got ten of them. I have 13 of them. 13? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I probably need to sell some stuff in order to buy the upgrade materials for this katana, right? Find the katana. I need 18 decks. Wait, I can't teleport from this place? We're going to do it. We're going to. Do I have to come out of this? Sell all my stuff. I needed to come out. Yeah. I need a chopper pick up. I needed to come out. <clears throat> we need to get to the chopper. I was trying. I was I was I was uh, working on my Arnold impression on stream the other day. OK, OK. Uh, What did he say? Um. Oh, let's hear it. I want, I want to decide. It is my right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I gotta keep working on it. <laughs> well, every other weapon I choose puts me in heavy load. Nine, eight, five, six. 12, or no, 6. <laughs> oh, Dolu, I don't even have enough runes to upgrade this bad boy. I can give you some, boss. I've got some uh, things on me. Uh, okay, I need to go, I need to go respec. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna uh, drop down. Oh, God, I don't know. 
You know what? I think I don't have to respect because I'm already good on this scavenger swords. I think I uh, need... already on. Dex I need this. And... Let's do fifty-five strength, and then we're just gonna like. We're gonna try to get like a decent amount of of each. Let's just do twenties. Twenties and twenties and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh God, it's not gonna be enough, is it? <laughs> there I go down to forty. Okay, Whew. still at medium load. All right, let me uh, get back to the table of lost grace. All right, now I have the stats to, to wield the katana. Um, let me sell some some shit. really don't have much to sell. I do want to keep Holy the... Shit, I have not... I have not picked up the scavenger sword? Why? Wait, just get it, boss. Let's... Can we quickly go to Mount Gelmer to get that, boss? Uh... Yes, let me just uh, upgrade this katana as much as I can real fast. Okay. I don't want to go to Mount Gelmir with a plus zero weapon. Even that would oh, be I see. too much for me. Plus ten should be okay. All right, where where's the scavenger sword in Mount Gelmir? Uh, it's somewhere next to that scion uh, that comes near a ladder somewhere. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay. Um, I think we need to go to first Mount Gelmir campsite. Okay. First, first campsite. Okay. A plus ten weapon will probably be pretty, pretty bad here, but at least. Ooh. I can test out the move set. That's check, pretty check good. Check your stance. Check your stance skill. Oh yeah, it's got the overhead stance, just like a, a katana. <laughs> it's it's just the Ichimanji from Sekiro. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, well that's pretty run sweet. Run through it, boss. Run through, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Here somewhere. Damage is bad. Please. Uh, don't tell me you already killed this guy here. Have you killed this guy here? I was just oh, thinking about that. I may have yeah, I killed it, that got, guy. Got well, it. Got well, it. Well, no, 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 I got the sword. I got the sword. I oh, you did? Sword. Okay, good. Yeah. I got um, a sanctuary stone. This weapon is 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 pretty cool. Yeah, plus 10 is a little low for uh, this area, but that's okay. Let's let's clear out these dudes and then we can go back to Take that. 
We can go back to round table hold and I can hopefully finish upgrading. A guy up top. Okay, that is sick. It's, uh, you know, I, I should probably, like, um, I should probably, uh, whatchamacallit. Yes. I should, I should probably, uh, use uh, yes. more variety of weapons because I'm really liking the, the crowd controlling capabilities of this. Ooh, Dolu dripped out. Hell yeah. Um. Hey, uh. What do I sell? <laughs> I do have 57 rune hearts. Upgrade um, You know, maybe I should sell some of these like non DLC weapons so that I can switch between the DLC weapons easier. In storage, boss, it's the selling. I know, but I need the I need runes. <laughs> That's the problem. Oh. Go go to that mod place, boss. Get some runes. You want to go together? We can farm pretty well if you want to. Oh yeah, let's do that. The palace approach ledge road. Yeah. So according to this, there are eight new. Um. Wait, do I have? Old pickled falcon. I do. Give me wounds. Give me wounds. All right, let's try this. Yeah, that was like okay. Now that's some nice runage. Yeah, the the light attack chain is a nice mix of like stabs and slashes. I like that. Uh-huh. Want my help, boss? I wouldn't mind. Considering I do still have like a plus 12 weapon here. And these guys are pretty end game. According to this, there are eight new weapon types in the DLC. I'm gonna try something. They are backhand blades. Uh Beast Claws, which we've seen, we've seen some of those already. Uh, great Katanas, of this, of which is, this is one. Hand to hand weapons. Okay. I bet that's the Kung Fu. Oh, I want to try that. Yeah, I want to try that too. How cool must that be? This is pretty good bleed, too. It is like a heavy weapon. It does a lot of poise. That's cool. Kind of slow, but definitely makes up for it with the, the poise. Uh, then there are light great swords. Perfume bottles, throwing blades, and thrusting shields. Apparently, thrusting shields are like a legitimate historical thing. 
shifting shields? Yeah. Which, you know, we love to see some some historical accuracy in our uh, fantasy space monster game. You know, this would probably go a lot faster if I just did this. Yep. Hello. Hello, love. Nice day, isn't it? <laughs> Get it. All right. Now I should have the runes to finish upgrading this katana. And I like it. So let's keep using it for a little bit. Just a little bit. We only upgrade to plus 24, because if we find something that actually really uh, tickles your fancy, you can always use one of your ancients. And they've given us like three three ancient smithing stones so far or something like that. Uh-huh. It's kind of insane how... Uh... Okay, I've got that. I've got the smithing stones I need. Good, 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 good. It's kind of crazy how um, how many smithing stones have been uh, dropping just from rando rando foes. Oh. I'm gonna look up something real quick. I just want to see one number. Give me the number. So it looks like it takes about 130,000 to fully upgrade a normal weapon and about 100,000 uh -huh. to upgrade a somber weapon. Which, I mean, at this this point, our level ups are like 200k. So... Yeah. Uh, okay. Are you ready to to delve into the Bellow Rat Jail? Uh, I think so, boss. I'm on medium load. Good. Uh, All right. If I do get level ups, my current goal is to get my vigor back up to a respectable amount. Because I I have taken a lot of vigor off to uh, get twenties in every weapon stat so I can wield most of the stuff. Uh, which means I should be able to wield the Blood Fiend's arm as well. Yes. Okay. I just want to see the heavy attack on this bad boy. Okay, I've upgraded most of my stuff. Uh, see how that works out. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Let's delve this. Oh, you know, I guess I could You're wield running? the the great katana one handed. I'll oh, probably probably speed maybe. it up a little bit. Hey, pots, can we shoot these pots down? Still does good damage. Um, try it. Oh God, look at how deep this thing goes. Do love those swords on you, though. They look so cool. Thank you, boss. Okay, which one should I shoot at? Hot. I don't know. Uh, no, boss. They don't move. Okay. Frozen maggots used for crafting items. 
The magnets develop in great joint innards and are an invaluable source of sustenance to the prisoners. Alexander is here. I mean, his kin is here. Yeah. It's a jar dungeon. Hmm. Maybe we'll fight slash meet some jars. Probably. It's jar tough. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Rude, honestly. Lots of frozen maggots here. I bet I bet there's like an ice frost pot. And almost certainly you use the frozen uh, maggots in the frost pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've learned your tricks. Silver tenders. It's nice that they give you these item discovery items, you know, like just in case you want to uh, grind something in the DLC. In the DLC. Frozen maggots. What if we wait, found- Wait, hang on. What I'm still we... using arrow talismans. What, what if we the found hell? what if we found a frozen market? <laughs> a frozen market? <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I'm I'm still using the guard counter talisman. Um I just want like maybe we do Shard of Alexander and do this overhead overhead slash and shit let's flip and go frozen maggots frozen maggots wait is this a dead end no no because we can just jump through this hole here oh uh, yeah time for hole I've started to see, uh, it's kind of funny, like back when this game came out, right? Yes, boss. Yeah. People were obviously making jokes and the little messages. And it was always uh, try finger, but whole, right? Yeah. Uh, I've seen, I've seen now, like the new jokes are updated for the new memes two years later right <laughs> so you have uh like mist or beast <laughs> and then you also <laughs> you also have like i want to go home and then edge <laughs> oh please not the jar anything but that i swear a living saint i'll surely be please you must forgive me forgive me please wait sir could it be just the thing that this is the player where they this is the place where they imbue the souls of these people into jars. Well, we always knew that Alexander had warriors in him, both figuratively and literally. Uh so mm -hmm. it could be we're in the jar manufacturing plant. Wait. Don't tell me you gotta jump on these jars to get something. Oh no. I is think that I've... the way? I, I can't lock onto it. Oh, no, I can't lock onto it. I think I found one of the jars, people. God. It's hideous. Where did Whoa. you find us? Uh, in this room, in this room over here. Oh, God. What room? Oh, there, okay. I want you to see this sad thing, Delu. It crawled out of this jar. Oh shit, is that what the innards are for a jar? Oh shit. Well, that's disturbing. Thanks, Fromsoft. Mm -hmm. Um Why are we up here? I don't know, I was just checking if there's anything up there. Boss, I'm almost sure that we gotta supposed to jump on these jars to go down. Okay, let's try it. Uh, 
Uh, this one looks like a roll. This one also looks like a roll. Yes. I fell down, bye! <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> bye. Oh, but I there are actual... There are actual, like, little jar guys down here. Where's it gonna put me? Where's this thing gonna put me? Oh, shit. All the way in the back. All the way at the entrance? Uh, yeah. Shoot. I don't well, even remember uh, the way. Are you real? Oh, you're real. Okay, well, at least that staggers them into oblivion. Um, however, slashing damage is not very effective against these guys. Oh, I'm sorry, Great Katana. This is just not the dungeon for you. Go hammer, boss. Go hammer. Let's go hammer. Oh, God, there's more of them. Hang on, wait for me, boy. Wait for me. Okay. I am deeply He's disturbed, Dolu. I am deeply disturbed. Why? <laughs> Why, FromSoft? Why? Why would you do this to me? Oh, man. I hate platforming, boys. I believe in you. You should be able to get through it with just rolls and walking. Made it, made it, uh, boss. Okay, let. Okay, you finished it. Never mind. It's okay. There's another one, crawling out of his little. Allow pot. me to test. Yeah, allow me to test. Bleed. Oh, what the? Yeah. So he's got a, a explosion attack. He's got like a grab attack. Did he bleed at all? I don't think he bled at all. Nothing. No, no, he did not, boss. Wow. Human bone shark. See, that's what they're converting humans into, boss. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here's another one. Boss, there's a big jar over there. You see that? Eh? Give me a second. Big jar? <gasps> big jar. Careful before you go there, boss. Let's check the sides. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave okay, no stone oh. unturned. It looks I'm, like we can go okay, back. Okay, okay. I was going to say, like, this bridge is just built to have an enemy on it, right? Yeah. Do you have frost on those swords as well? Yeah, frost and bleed, boss. I combine frost and bleed. That is absolutely cracked. That is absolutely cracked? No, 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 no. Not crap. Uh, cracked. Like you've okay. you've cracked the code. It's awesome. Oh oh oh. Okay. All right, ready to. Uh oh. Well, I am still here. Uh, you Did should I try jumping, boss. Yeah, I tried jumping. You should be able to do it without dying. Nope. Too far. Too far. Too far. Oh well, but you made it down. They do like to put these, like, no jumping damage zones in the game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so over here is just frozen maggots. What is this maze-ass maze? Okay. Time to employ the left-hand rule. Okay. So we're going to just hug the left, left side and... All right. This is totally a dude. You are so totally a dude. <laughs> okay, he doesn't take a whole lot of damage when the pot's still on. Okay. Is that supposed to be like a, a puzzle? Gravity grab. 
We should check the other side first, boss. Left hand. We have to we have to stick to the left hand first. Left hand first. Okay. 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 Stairs leading down. Let's not go down yet. Can I jump up? No. Nope. So now we keep pushing on the left side. Uh, can you jump up here? No. These guys look like <laughs> balloon boys. But like balloon boys. But not like not like balloon boy, like balloon boy, like the boy that went up into the balloon. But like Well there's cave moss up one of those yards where we can I think get up there. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I just found the the way up. Oh, item. Oh shit. Uh okay, you can jump back. Item? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Over there. How do we get that spot? Uh. It looks like there might be other places to jump to that have items on them. Yeah, I don't think Bob we're boy. making. I don't think we're making that jump. All right, left hand rule. Keep hugging the left side. We'll get to a dead end eventually. I hope. These. Mother truckers deal so much damage in this DLC. Ooh, Potent's Cookbook 11. The freezing pot. I knew it. Uh, freezing hefty one? Yeah, okay. hefty freezing pot. Yep, and it uses the frozen maggots. Large buildup of frost. I mean, that's pretty good. It is. If you can, if you can proc frost quickly. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me, sir. If you can proc frost quickly, it can be even better than bleed. Yeah, I would say, I would say keep, keep going on the, the frost and bleed. Because, I mean, eventually we've got to run into a boss that will... I can't imagine the bosses will be like immune to 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 bleed, right? Okay, I found another way up. I found another way up. And there's a hefty cracked pot. And more frozen maggots. Where are you, boss? Uh, yeah, just keep following the left. Okay. Hefty pot. And, uh, okay. Is that it? I guess so. <laughs> this looks familiar. Okay. That's where we came from. Yeah. All right. So we did a circle. We did. So that means there's an interior loop somewhere. I know how to solve labyrinths. And by solve, I mean exhume, completely discover. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Let's... Go around here. Yes. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And I bet. Let's see. Can we get to the item? Did we get that other item? No. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. My gut says maybe. I 
I wonder if you have to drop down from somewhere to get that item. Is there a hole in the ceiling above it? Uh, I don't see it, boss. Oh, shoot. So there are two items. Oh, wait a minute. Did we miss something back here? Yes. Yes. In my, in my uh, haste to go left, I missed the most obvious right turn. Okay, okay. Oh. Innered meat. <laughs> Throw at enemies to inflict damage. This is what becomes of the condemned who get sliced up and stuffed into jars to become saints and instead. Oh, geez. Why? You got over there, Dolu. Did you? It's supposed... Did you find find the way? Okay, it's another hefty crack pot. Did you find yeah. find the way? Uh, the way what what way was? The way to get here. It took me a second to find it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I found it, boss. I followed your footsteps, boss. Dolu. Dolu, you're a you're a wise. Sir, come here. You're a wise. You're 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 a wise. Dolu, you're a good cookie. Does that make Thank sense? you, boss. Yeah, it does, boss. I'm a cookie! Big area, boss. Be yeah. careful. Watch out for watch out for ambush. Big jar. damage is just so good oh, <laughs> the hammer oh, damage is, is just so good did you just guard boost him i did i have the guard counter oh, talisman oh, on him oh on sweet Ooh. see ya um there's another pot down there but it might be that we need to jump across here oh god Jerk. What the hell? Oh god. Too many. Well, I can see what Sir Davy was saying about the DLC being tougher. They're doing a lot of damage. And a yep. lot of, uh, and having a lot of resistances in hell. All right. Um, uh, yeah. It, wait a minute. Two ways to go, boss. Two ways to go. This is, this is an elevator. Wait, how did you, what the? Can I? Wait, the, can you please come back? I, it's lowering back what? down. It's lowering back down. All right, how am I supposed to work this? Uh, literally just jump on it. Don't worry, Dolo. I'm watching you. Okay. Bing. He flies. Da -da 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 -da. Express train on the way. Ding, 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 ding. All right, just walk walk off onto that other pot. There. Okay. Yep. And then you're gonna have to jump a couple times. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Don't worry, Dilu. I'm. I hear. I'm here. I have full faith in you. <gasps> Look at that. Oh. So strong. So Dolu. Thank you, you boys. Absolute. Yes. Oh, I don't have my. Oh, it's the big jar. It's the big jar place, boss. What? Oh. It's the big jar place we fell from. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, nice. I knew there had to be like another way to get there if they're just gonna drop you off of the edge. 
I'll stay away from the edge, boss. Alright. So what's the, can we talk to this fool now? Well, it looks like we can drop back down. But yeah, let's figure out what's going on here. Oh, there's an item up there, boss. All right. Item it shall be. A helmet. <laughs> oh, is it? Uh, is it a hefty helmet? It's 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 actually better in a lot of ways than my helmet. Increases the power of throne pots of all sizes. They offer their prayers to the innards of the great jars, such that they may rebo be reborn one day into sainthood. This is the cycle of death and rebirth taken into hands of mortal men. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, I see. Mm -hmm. I gotta see something. Hang on. How do I look? I do this. <laughs> it looks like you got stuck mm. in the jar. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's just kind of true. <laughs> we're just we're stuck Please. in jars here uh okay all right all right i will all admit right, right. it's a good it's a good helmet it's better than my yep. current helmet also kinda, the same place down boss yeah 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 we can just we can just like run around the same exact way also, it kind of makes it look like I have ears that are like sticking out all the time, just like my ears that stick out all the time. <laughs> this has got to be another elevator, right? But it isn't. OK, but you can make that jump. I swear to God. Why is this dungeon so platformer? I know. I, I feel like I need to start using rainbow stones just to make sure that I am going the right direction. Yeah. All right. Well, if the if the great jar increases the potency of throne items, then I might as well put some throne items on my uh, on my bar. Right. All right. Oh, suddenly it feels bleed is a bad idea. <laughs> Nothing bleeds here. Nothing bleeds. Well, I mean, we are we are about to fight a boss. Like bleed has to still be good versus bosses, right? I suppose I shouldn't speak too quickly, but that's the feeling in my soul. All right. We are fighting. That's right. Demi human sword master Anz. Anzi. He's a little guy. Oh, Jesus. He's Yoda. He's <laughs> Yoda. <laughs> they put Yoda in this game. Well, he does. He does get staggered pretty easily. And he bleeds. And he bleeds. Okay, so bleed is yeah. good. Bleed still works on bosses. Um, this is a little bit bully mode, isn't it? <laughs> well. Very well. And we, we got a Yoshi. We did it. We got Yoshi meets you. We got Yoshi Demi meets you. Human sword we got Yoshi meets you. Yoshi. Yeah. Uh, let's read about him. Boss, why are we not allowed to use someone's? On so a master swordsman who devoted himself to the Starline Sword realized that only ruin awaited at the end of the procession of stars. Hey, he had imprisoned he himself in order to force scholars. However, Yosh, an apprentice who absorbed his techniques, so stubbornly refused to heed his master's words and spent his entire life at his side in defiance of his self-imposed seclusion. So, so this dude's like, uh, the prophecy of the Starline Sword will lead us to ruination. 
I must impose solitude upon myself in order to break the cycle. And then his student was like, fuck you. I'm going to spend my entire <laughs> life with you. <laughs> uh, excuse me. My controller suddenly stopped working. There we go. No, that, that side of grace is so deep in there. Uh, okay. We didn't get a new weapon, but we did get a new employee. The sure. Demi-Human Swordsman. How about that? Okay, now I can switch back to the Katana, right? Because we're not yep, fighting... you can, boss. We're not fighting... Uh, super, um, super pop bros anymore. It just clips through the pothead. <laughs> this, this, this pothead is so ridiculous. Wait a minute. Um, I really took the long way around on this one. Prophecy, flightless bird. Oh, there's a whole new thing for it. Incursion. Yeah, doesn't this look like the the the, the bridge in incursion? And that looks like the thing in incursion. So the painter must be around here. Where are you? Yeah, like, this is definitely it. Right? What are you searching for, boss? Um, we found the painting called Incursion. Okay, a little further back. Uh, there he is, boss. I found him. I found oh, him. Oh, shit. Okay, he was right behind me. You drop your, drop your item, fool. Serpent Crest Shield. What does that do? Not really a shield user. Finally made red shield. Excels at guarding against fire. Said to have been made to commemorate the beginnings of the crusade started by Mesmer. Son of Merica? Mesmer is Merica's son? Mm. Excels at guarding against fire. I mean, it does have a 63 fire damage negation. And 100% physical. Okay. So it's like the Dragon Crest shield from um, Dark Souls 1. All right. Actually kind of legit. Could be good versus those furnace golems. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah. So uh, our good, good friend and uh, possible business partner, uh, Bonicula, Yes. has uh, played the DLC and I read her review of this area. Oh, and okay. She said that one of the things that she found was true in the DLC and not in the base game is that you do really have to pay attention to um, like we weaknesses and resistances. So using holy on the undead dragon for instance. Oh, I see. Oh, and we got another Reverend Ash blessing. Okay, we're up to three and three. Nice, nice, nice. Are you also up to three and three, Dolu? Three and three, what, what? Three, three, and three, you can see it on your status screen. Three scattered tree blessing, three Reverend Spirit Ash blessing. Oh, uh, uh, three and three. Yes, boss. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like the uh, looks like the the shadow realm runes give a lot more runes. Really? Yeah. I'm going to switch this. I'm, I'm at a level up, boss. Let me get a level up. Get a level up. Just a level up. Just to level up. 
Yeah, because right now I am at level 174. So you're at level 170, I can see. You're at 174, boss? I am. Okay. And you can level up, get to your... Uh... If you go, if you go into the... Um... If you go into the seamless co-op settings, one of the settings yes. that you can change is uh, the information that appears above other players' heads. Okay. And the best one, I think, <laughs> just provides the most information is level and ping. So I can see your level, and I can also see your ping. I see. Yeah. Okay, where do you go? East. Oh, wait, I need to set up my flask. It's, it's configured to uh, bow and arrow usage. Hang on. Yeah, there are some items over this way that we want to pick up. Yeah, apparently. Well, the fun part is on. Apparently, they try to give you uh, a lot of the different new weapon types in the very early game, which I think is absolutely great. Like. Oh yeah. Yeah, you have a new great katana. Give me the great katana. Give me just like the base great katana in the first area. Yes, yes, yes. This looks correct. Yep. All right, so where are we going, boss? Uh, follow me. So this item here should be another new weapon. Yep, it is the backhand blade. What is this now? Uh, let's see. Backhand blade, it's a looks like a deck scaling weapon curved blade with a backhand grip type of welded weapon wielded by horn set for generations the style of combat associated this with this weapon is marked by spinning slashes and gouging thrust attacks leap into close quarters to take advantage of the enemy's blind spot and gore them from the side inputs determine which side you strike from this attack slips below the opponent's guard they look cool as hell Oh, at the back. Very cool. And then... There is... Oh, actually, what a cool, what a cool Ash of War. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see that, yeah. It looks, it looks like it's it... It's a dodge. It's a it's dodge. A dodge and it it's a dodge and a hit, and you can kind of direct it with the um, with the control stick. So it looks like it Sweet. would take take some uh, take some some time to to master. Yeah, no passives though. Oh shit! Another painting. Okay, the sacred tower. Isn't that... It looks like so... It looks kind of like the architecture up there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> hello, hello, Chichen. Crunch. What you crunching on? Also, uh, what a hilarious way to introduce yourself in chat. Oh, <laughs> didn't didn't see you there until you. I heard you eating something. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, this is the. Okay, okay, okay. I know where we are. This is the graveyard where we first got our very first scadu. Boss, pot guy, pot guy. Uh, I think we already got that one. Can I talk All right, to you? he's not gonna. 
Uh, Chinese I pancake. pancake. Yeah, I, I imagine that they don't like keep dropping scattered tree fragments. That would be a little broken. What is a Chinese pancake? A variation of pancake. Makes sense. <laughs> Will you talk to me, friend? It's a ghost, but he just doesn't want to talk. All right. Um, okay. Dolo, I think it's, I think, I think, I think this, this first area has been very thoroughly explored. Let me just check the, let me just check my several maps of the DLC to make sure. Okay. Okay, we've got all the scattered tree fragments in the first area. We got all the revered spirit ashes in the first area. And bosses? Oh, good. There's more ulcerated tree spirits in this DLC. Oh, God, there's uh -oh. a lot. There's a lot of them, actually. Okay. Uh, okay, so... It's much? So I think, I think what this is telling me is that we are ready to take on one of the, the fortresses in this area. All right. There are two of okay. them. There's one over here, and there's one over here. All right. Close enough. Yeah, it looks like... It looks like this one might be the uh, easier one. So why don't we, why don't we right. travel to the main gate cross? Uh, main gate. Okay. But that's the difficult one, right? See? A little more. Welcome. You come, you enjoy. I I <gasps> He likes me. I for you. Bring bring. He likes me. I bought all his stuff and he likes me. Oh yeah. Anytime more. Any anytime. Oh. <laughs> this guy has more stuff to talk about. Ask about the person in Verdigris armor. Is it that guy? Oh, you must mean Sir Moore. I do mean Sir Moore. Sir Moore is a kind and stalwart ally. He provisions our little outfit. Sir Moore traffics with the forager brood. His brethren, who collect supplies from all corners of the land. No doubt they find inspiration in his many virtues. These are not your foes, Tarnished. Should you spot any forager brood, be sure to mind your manners. No. Righteous time. All right, let's just <laughs> because this is a FromSoft game. <laughs> let's just go through and talk, talk to everyone again. <laughs> just Wait, make, where did you go? I just went. I just went down to the three three path cross, just All to right. just to talk to everyone we've met so far. I urge you as long as you. Are. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going back to the main gate crop. Chinese pancakes are savory with leek and fried. That, uh, I, I do love leeks a lot. So that sounds kind of great, actually. Okay, Dilu. Boss? Um, you are invisible. Are you warping to the main gate cross currently? Yes, boss. Yes, okay. boss. Okay. 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 Um, how much how much runes do I need for a level up? Seventeen thousand, and I have uh twelve thousand, fifteen thousand. I should be able to find fourteen thousand worth of stuff to sell, right? I do think I can get rid of some of these weapons. I mean, like, I'm not going to get rid of any of, like, the 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 good ones, but you don't need, like, two Lord's Horns sw straight swords. You don't need dagger. 
You don't need. Yeah, that also true. You don't need two of any particular great sword, right? <laughs> yeah. All the katanas are unique. Uh, twin blades are cool. Forked hatchets, stormhawk axe, probably do want two of those. Gray axe and black axe. Oh wait, these are different weapons. Very cool. The things you learn. The things you learn. Golem's halberd. Two of those. Don't need two rotten stabs. Don't need two clayman's harpoons. Dolu, did you sit? Dang oh. it, Dolu. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Well, for some reason, when you when you sit while I'm in it with a merchant, it knocks me out of oh, their sorry. dialogue, and then I suddenly can't talk to them. It's weird. Oh. All right, I'll take care of that, boss. I will not sit when you are chopping. Thank you. Uh, looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since you can't equip more than one of the same type of talisman, there are a bunch of talismans that I can just drop off. Is that enough to level up? That's definitely enough. Ah, okay, those are two different things. Goodbye. Okay, now I can level up. And we are working on bringing Vigor back into a reasonable level. Okay. All right, boss. Did you level up as well, Delu? I one level, boss. I added one level. Okay. Well, I think this is a good what place. What level do you want me to be, boss? What level do you want me to be? <laughs> um, Somehow, I think that levels are not as important as uh the scattered tree fragment blessing levels in this place so any level is fine dolu i'm just gonna wear this big old pot on my head <laughs> look at the it's like multi-tier rotundness this is true bossitude <laughs> 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 All right, Dolu, I think it's time. I think it's time that we uh whew, called it for today before we get into doing okay. a whole a whole new dungeon. Right, boss. Uh so uh do you want to go back to the the office to do a quick uh a quick review of the the bosses that we fought today yeah boss let's do that all right i'll send you home i will turn off the game go back to the office Whoa. okay we're in the office i've been thrown into the realm shift <laughs> uh okay today we fought Five bosses? Wow. Not bad. What did you say level voice, boys? 174? My my level is 174, yeah. Okay, I'll catch up. I'll catch up, boss. Okay. Listen, the scattered tree fragments are clearly the the way you're supposed to level up. And I think I think it's actually smart of them to do that because now that I'm playing the DLC. I'm really wanting to use my runes on um, uh, upgrades, right? Yeah. And if I'm using my runes on upgrades, I'm not going to have runes for leveling. Oh, 
Oh. Makes sense. Makes sense. Wait, are we upgrading our level using that scar three, the blessing thingy? Yeah, it's um. So I, how I read that it works is essentially um, level ups give you a um, incremental bonus. Like if you gain one level, your attack will go up one damage, right? If you mm-hmm. if you gain mm-hmm. if you gain one level, your armor will go up one negation point, right? Yes. But the way the scattered tree fragments work is, um, and let me just scattered tree blessing scaling. I've got it here. Um. Every time you level up your Skadu tree, instead of getting a plus damage, you get a percentage damage increase. Uh. So, so with Skadu tree level three, uh, let me see if I can find this. Skadu tree level three, um, Sir, why is the screen dark? Oh, it's because it's because the office is uh, closed right now. We're not supposed to be here. Oh, we're working overtime. Oh, oh, I see. Comprehensive. <laughs> um. So we have like a twenty, twenty ish, twenty five ish, um, percent damage boost just from the scatter tree fragments. Which is like, really? Yeah, it's like having m- more of a damage boost than Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength on at just all times. Oh, but we gotta use it, use the other thing, the blessing thingy before we wanna do it, right? Yeah, we have to find the blessings and use them in order to get this bonus. No, no, you mean that, that blessing flask we found? So if we, if we use it, then we get that bonus. No, uh, the blessing of America. Yeah. Uh, no, it's that the blessing of America is a one-time use item. Uh, it just heals you completely once. It's like the oh. it's like the sacred blessings in uh, Dark Souls One. Dolu is so clumsy for these boss. You are the awesome one. Dolu just know how to swing swords and cause damage. That's it. That is okay. (laughs) Apparently, there are only like um, three of them in the whole DLC. So uh, I wouldn't even use them. (laughs) Unless you really, really have to. Three of what? Three of what? Three of the Blessings of America in the entire DLC. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, and also, 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 apparently, yeah, um, once we get our Scattered Tree Blessing to level 12, yeah, mm-hmm. each level after 12 only gives about a 1% damage boost, yeah. Uh, so we want to try to get to 12 as soon as possible. Yeah. But after that, it's not as important to boost our scattered tree level. I see. Okay. Uh, (laughs) which we will want to, we will want to hit the maximum by the end of the DLC, but it's not as important early, uh, early on, you know. Hey boss, I'm going to pretend I understood. So whatever you say. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Um, let's do, let's, let's review the footage a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's review the footage a bit. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> first off, we have the, 
the boss that I forgot to grab, the furnace golem. Oh, the furnace guy, yeah. Yeah, very- Can we put brightness on the TV? Can't see the footage. Oh, geez. Uh, you're right, you're right. All right, I'm gonna turn the- I'm gonna turn the lights on. Three, two, one, light! Okay. <laughs> uh Aye, that's better that is better boss okay <laughs> okay i guess just for a second while we review the footage um what'd you think of the furnace golem well he, he's kind of time to hit him yeah he's kind of yeah. clumsy but he's very resilient got lots of health. i mean lots of damage uh, too much health but <laughs> if you do that Critical thing that you did that was like huge damage output on him too. So we figure out we have to figure out a way to bring him down fast yeah. in future version. I'm guessing the future version is gonna have some additional stuff going. Probably not just this. Probably. Uh <laughs> that is that is very from soft design. Yeah, but where do we use them though? Hmm. Shall we assign those furnace golems to the consecrated snowfields for us? Our yeah. Resort? You know what? It might be good. It might be good to just have them be the. Uh, we already got like um, furnaces and boilers and stuff like that for our, our buildings. Yeah. But what if what if uh, yeah. what if these guys were I like mean, um, campfires, right? Yeah, it's like though that fire giant is single-handedly operating the constant of the snowfield area, but so might wanna give me some help. Yeah, then and, and they'll get along since they're like the same size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's just start a fight or something. Next up we had the ghost flame dragon. Pretty cool. You know, oh. I was worried about whether or not our helicopter fleet would would survive in the lands of shadows yeah but these guys might be the might be the answer also look at the look at the holy damage <laughs> look at the holy damage uh lots of lots and lots of holy damage maybe i mean your hammer is awesome boss look at that hammer the Man, hammer is so cool <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, so these will be our shadow helicopter fleet. <laughs> shadow helicopter, awesome, boss. Yes. Cool. Unrelated to the black helicopters of conspiracy theorists. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, next up we had the Black Jail Knight. Oh, this guy. I kind of like him, boss. Yeah, he was he was a uh, spunky. <laughs> and then we bullied him into oblivion so he couldn't even heal. I see. <laughs> um, He's looking. Poor guy. <laughs> I mean, if you know about this, um, if you, I, I, I wear his full armor now, and I have at like 96 points, boys. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah. He's got some. Yeah, like like he's got some serious guts to him. But the, we use him though. The 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 description on his armor said that people in these mausoleums have either lost their name or lost their heart. I think this guy is maybe or... one of the ones that lost his name because I'm pretty sure his name is not Black Jail Knight. Right, that's just his description. That's just his job title. Uh, so maybe, maybe we can put him in. Uh, what do you call that? Like records keeping. Since he's looking for his, uh, he's looking for his name. He can help us by looking through all the names, <laughs> and just you know, maybe he'll find himself eventually. Oh, I see what you're doing here, boss. What yeah. was that Gideon, the Gideon guy? You want a replacement for him, right? Yeah, we need a replacement for Gideon. Uh, he was just ended up being a huge jerk. So Yeah, so this guy can actually work on that. So he can handle the library as well, where Gideon sits. I love it. Welcome to the team, Black yes. Channel Knight. <laughs> as long yes. as you're not as big of a jerk as Gideon, 
you're welcome here. And I think that's he a pretty look like boss. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a pretty easy bar to pass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, then we had Logan. I mean, Loger, uh, the, the Wolverine claw. Oh. I mean, the beast claw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think this guy's hilarious. It's so clearly Hugh Jackman. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe have we start building our uh, Chimera Wood franchise? You know, Hollywood, oh, true, Chimera Wood. True, true. Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, we need. We'll, we'll have him. He's he's already got the the gumption to play the part. He already knows yeah. how to do it. We're gonna start our so new. We yeah, <laughs> video production thingy studio. Yes. Uh, so he can be the actor. We need to find him a producer and a director. A producer is RV, so a director maybe. Yeah. Well, he can he 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 can star in the movies, and even even better, he can be our spokesperson. Ah. Uh, but uh, kind of looks like an asshole to me. All this. <laughs> well, when he's gonna open his mouth. It's gonna be a problem. Well, well, we'll just we'll just make sure he stays on script. <laughs> we need that star. <laughs> we need that star power, don't we? <laughs> I mean, you never know. He pounces on one of those uh, journalists or anything. We'll just have to cover that up if it happens. Yes, and hopefully it won't. Most... All right, and last we have Demi Human Swordmaster Onza, <laughs> who's basically oh, Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> okay. I don't uh... know. It says it says he was kind of imprisoned himself here for the sake of the prophecy although we didn't really get to see the the star line sword all that much because we kind of just <laughs> bullied him <laughs> into oblivion <laughs> my goodness what do you think delu do we have a uh maybe we can do you know yoda versus wolverine aka Loger versus Onze. Are you suggesting a mosh pit? <laughs> a matchup? No, a mosh pit. What? Like an, a, an arena of some sort uh. where they have uh, <laughs> like like games, clashes like games. Yeah, yeah, like a, a fighting arena. Oh, sir. Do you know Caleb, that big jar guy? He would love speak? that. He would love that. Yeah. Yeah, he has a big coliseum behind him. You know that? So he can open it up, maybe. All right. But that's sport. Well, we're, we've already we've already got our first blockbuster hit: Wolverine versus Yoda, <laughs> the Lands Between edition. Oh, boss! I got the perfect name for it: WWCC. WWCC. World, World Wrestling Chimera Championship. Ooh, I kind of love that. We're gonna, <laughs> we're finally, we're finally gonna have the uh, the resources to to challenge the Zarkons VTuber Wrestling Federation or VWF. Yes, yes. We will, in we will invite the Tekken guys to that sport. Hell yeah! I think that's yeah. That's all. That's all. We only we only did five bosses today, but we. Explored so much. Do you think just a few days are enough to do this, boss? I don't. I highly <laughs> doubt it. I'm starting to doubt it as well. I'm gonna turn the lights off again. <laughs> uh, 80, 80 bosses. Yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> but I mean, so the other thing is, when we started out in the base game. It took us a while to kind of get our bearings and figure out our play styles and collect the items that we needed to collect, you know? Yeah. Uh, I imagine... I'm gonna... I imagine yeah. that the same is true here. Once we kind of get yeah, a few possibly. bosses under our belt, uh, almost certainly we'll, we'll have a, an easier time of uh, getting through the Shadowlands. I, I want to open up into a better role. I feel this this build I'm going doesn't serve me well. You know, like like bow and arrow was serving me well uh, with what I was doing, mm -hmm. but here I need something more. H how do you feel if I become a Cerulean Knight boss? 
Ooh. Yeah, I was thinking I was thinking about the fact that if we are going to do um if we're going to do this kind of play style where we focus on the enemy's weak points, right? Yeah. Um it would be good to for for me, it would be good for me to have um more uh whatchamacallits more uh damage types. Variety? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Okay. <laughs> but damage types you mean weapons or well well uh, I think I think like the, the handling is definitely good for holy, right? But then you've got yes. then you've got the katana, which doesn't have any like damage type on it. And I'm thinking, what if I started using more greases to to really nail down the um uh nail down the the weaknesses of these guys. Uh, I think time will tell boss. Well, that was my thought. I should use more grease. But then if you it wanted gets, to start uh, if you wanted to out of yeah. If you wanted to yeah. start looking for like more damage types through magic. Like I started earlier, like a mage, mage with different uh, armament uh, boosting thing. Yeah, different armament boosting things, different, um, different like spells that deal like magic damage or fire damage or or uh, like gravity that does physical damage. Right. Nobody bleeds here, boss. Nobody bleeds. <laughs> Nobody bled. Nothing bled. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to. I'm starting to think. Let's see if I can find this. Uh, DLC bosses. Here we go. So, like the next, the next big boss that we're probably gonna fight um, is very weak to piercing damage, apparently. No resistance is boss. Check resist check resist check resistances. And is slightly weak to fire damage. <laughs> and is also bleedable. Okay. So the next the, the next big boss we're gonna fight is actually very bleedable. <laughs> okay. Then perhaps this fortress we can run through this uh, same setup I have. And then is there a boss in this fortress, try boss? It. Try out some different stuff. Yeah, is there a boss in this fortress? Yeah, yeah. This is the, this is the boss I'm talking about. Apparently, bleed is the way to go. Okay. Uh... And impaling thrust. <laughs> so that means that this guy would be uh, weak to poise as well if that impaling thing is working on them. Yeah. Thrust attacks mean poise damage. This guy would be. Man, now I want to use radon arrows on him. Holy hell, what the hell? <laughs> and apparently the boss of the other fortress is weak to lightning. Mm, grease setup you're suggesting. Uh, lightning and frost. Interesting. I have frost. And and uh, and 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 poise. Poise, I don't have. I can do. I can do poise. I can do poise. Okay. So we'll sleep on this boss. Yeah, we'll yeah, sleep. yeah. We'll be back tomorrow with more. Yeah. Yeah, let's sleep on more this. More adventures. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>
Uh, it was fun. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. It's like a whole new world. It's not as scary as it looked or felt. It's okay. That first, the first enemy was a bit strong for for what I was expecting, but yes, now that my weapons have some actual reach, uh, I feel much better. <laughs> I'm gonna experiment with those claws as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I think the claws would probably be amazing for putting like bleed or frost onto. Because they, yeah, I'll try that. Yeah, they probably just hit tons of times. Um, all right, we are going to go raid. Oh, did they just dang it? We're going to do a raid, although the person that I wanted to raid, like, literally just turned off their stream. Raid, you mean business merger, right? Right. Well, yes, I'm trying to use the Twitch lingo, but I do mean business, <laughs> of course. Uh, okay, we're going to go raid. No, wait, why are they offline too? Let me refresh my page. For some reason, for some reason, my raids were all pointed at people who are uh, no longer online. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, my business mergers were with people who had already retired for the evening. Um, let's. Raid. Okay. Finally, someone who I haven't actually uh, raided, and they're making uh, uh, an avatar that is uh, the head of Shrek with the body of a potato and dancing with uh, Shrek with Miku hair. Uh, so I think that that is okay. like, I can't, I can't not rage Phoenix Star VR right now. <laughs> okay. All right, let's throw that raid message up in chat. All right. Uh, Let's go. So, uh, it is very late. <laughs> so, thank you to all who stuck around. Uh, thank you especially to the Zarkon and um, uh, Hello? do you have another raid? Yes, Varelli Blue. Uh, who who raided tonight? Uh, thank you so much to both of you. You guys are awesome. Um, and thank you everyone who came by. This DLC is a lot uh, of this DLC is a lot of Monday, fun. I'm enjoying it. Monday's child also meant to raid, but he couldn't. So maybe. oh yes, you're right. And thank you to Monday's yeah. child for stopping in despite the inability to raid. We're friends now, so we can raid. Uh, until. Yeah. Next time, though, it is time for us to, to head out. So my name is Isaac Anzu. Thank you so much for joining. If you're still in chat, copy that raid message. And let's go say hi to the incredibly cursed stream that is happening over at Phoenix Star VR. Until next time, farewell.